Happy New Year! Come in, come in, we're having a good time. We got the champagne over there, anything you like, you can have it, don't worry. It's all good, we're rich. <laughs> we got blondes, brunettes. I'm a fan, heavenly father, but right now I'm booing you. What did Kobe, Gigi, and the mother passages do to you? My condolences at this time is all I can offer. Kobe got me out here spending more time with my daughter. Taking Kobe from us had the whole world stress. You could have took an average player, not one of the best. Somebody like Lamar Odom or Delonte West. I'm just playing, but I'm saying we would have missed them less. God blessed, I'm convinced God don't got the answers. First you take the black mama from us in the black panther. All right, well, happy new year, people. Welcome back to another episode of Sneakers and Up. So we are here today starting off 2021 on the first day of 2021. Yes, and sir. we are jumping right into it. So I am the co-host, Dante, and we are bringing back again for the first day of the year, Dr. B. Say what's up, man. Man, I'm back with no hat, no glasses on a bench, you feel me, so. Okay. There you go. We out here. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Shout out to K. Cole in the motherfucking building. Well, there you go. There's, and today's guest is K. Cola. Yes, sir. The Baltimorean. I am here. Gamer. Sneakerhead. I even like a little fashion. You know, I got a custom hat here from a good friend, you know? Yeah. I like that. I like that. He said, little fashion. What little brand? Fashion. What brand is it? Uh, ah, you put me on the spot, bro. I have to look it up. It's, it, it's on Instagram though. It's a it's a it's a good Instagram a friend of mine. Um, we'll put them on. Uh, I, yeah, I wish I could tag him in right now, man. It's black, nah, you just been smoking. You, you good? You been smoking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. But you he, know what? He, he uh, has a lot of nice, a lot of nice, a uh, lot of nice um, inventory, man. Definitely. Hit me, hit me up with his uh, his IG, and um, right now while we're talking about it and 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 coming up with blanks, um, I can have it down at the bottom. Oh sure. Um, yeah, man, he does like like if you notice, it's it's Jordan and it's Allen Iverson here. Oh, I see. You see that the classic moment, you know? Is that Stitch? That's what that is. Yep. That's dope. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need that IG for sure. That for that sure. hat. Um, I, I don't know. I I I personally can't pull off that shape of hat, but if right. he's doing stuff like that, what well, uh, th those are my two faves right there. There's only oh, yeah? there's only oh there's, man. There's uh there's only a third one that mm -hmm. uh that's like in, in my top five. It, he's not for most yeah. people, but Jason Williams is my other one. Okay. Oh wow, wow, Jason Williams, that he's was reaching. the guy, man. Yeah, white was that Duke? Was Duke? Was it Duke? No, he didn't come from Duke, did he? Uh, but anyway, yeah, white white chocolate definitely had the handles. Uh, I think he came from Duke. I'm not sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. Hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, but but I definitely but, remember Jason Williams all day, bro. Sure. Yeah, but th that's uh, that's in my top five is uh, those two right there that you got on your hat and Jason Williams. So, mm -hmm. and I've never seen I've seen that obviously that image plenty of times before, but I've never seen it on a hat like that. That's dope. Yeah. I thought it was. A I thought bird it was creative. Something. Yeah, I thought it was creative. I, that's why I, I you know I ordered it. Uh, he does he does all the legends. I, I have a Mike Tyson one. Uh, one of one of Mike Tyson's uh, good poses when I think he was in the ring with his belts and he. He had cash in his hand at the same time. It was mm -hmm. like a fan's picture. I had okay. one of those as well. One of those caps as well. Bet. Um, well, then, uh, then, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm going to have to go check that out myself. Bet. Um, okay. Well, just how we start off every episode of Sneakers and Up, uh, we doing what you rocking, what you watching. So, oh, we lost Cola for a moment. So while we're that, getting, moment. while we're getting him back, Dr. B, sir, we're going to start with you only because, right. um, I got a lot, man. I just came back from vacation, so I'm about to fill up the screen. So uh -oh. I'll go last. So, Dr. Right. B, man, what you rocking? What you watching? Well, what I'm rocking right now is those Reebok BB4800 ice creams. You know what I'm saying? Fire. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Fire. Diamonds and dollars, baby, because that's all it's about. You feel what I'm saying? And, uh, Fire alert. You got that ice cream right there on the tongue, you know what I'm saying? Stitched in on a BH. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. That's how I'm feeling today. This is what I got popping today. You know what I mean? Shout out to my new web store coming soon. Stay tuned, y'all. We're going to have stuff like this for sale. And yeah, we back, baby. Mm. Okay. I'm mm. digging those, bro. Okay. Got any more what you rocking or what you watching? Um, what I'm watching for is those uh, Bathing Ape Air Jordan 1s, man. I need those. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to have to, uh, okay, we're going to have to break what you rock and what you uh, watch them real quick. Because I need to ask a, a big question about those. Right. Okay. Now, Cole, you're familiar with what he's talking about, right? Yeah. He said Jordan 1s, right? 
ice no, cream. The, the Bape, the Bape Jordan ones, or ice right. cream. The Bape. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bape. Okay. I've never actually saw an image, but I'm familiar with the Jordan ones. Okay, so the ones that I saw, they look like the Shadow ones. Right. Okay, so now I know you're a Bape head. Now, but my question is, is why is it okay? And everyone's showing crazy love for, for Bape doing this. But when Warren Lotus went and did it and everybody else doing it, they're all biting and and uh, Warren Lotus has got like the lawsuit against them. Why is that OK? I don't get it, man. It's throwing me off. I saw it. And I was like, wait, well, a minute. I mean, for one, Bape has already been emulating their most famous shoe, the Bape, the, after the Air Force One. They just patent leathered it and they gave it all sorts of themes. And, oh. uh, you know that's the whole point of it is that they pay homage so good that everyone accepts it and rocks with it. Bape is the most accepted crossover brand in the world. If you really think about it, that and Supreme and a couple other brands, even though I hate Supreme, but like those are the type of brands that are doing collabos with every other brand and even sub brands. So I just like the fact that they take an Air Jordan one and instead of the swoosh, it's the star, the Bape star. That's right, hard. Right. That is hard. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, like and it has like the, the um, it, babes, yep. Yeah. It has like embossed um, raised leather as well. So they're really sick. So it has like some um, mm. like laser etched embossing. I did um, see that. Yeah. Now, I, but, I do have to say though, that looking at that, it looks 10 times better than any Jordan one that I, I mean, obviously besides stuff like the shattered backboard, but right. just your regular Jordan one, it looks 10 times better than that. So I, I, I do, I, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking the sneak at all. What confuses me is how that one's okay. You know what I mean? Right. Especially right. right now with all the hype of of everyone copying Jordans or Dunks or mm -hmm. Air Force One. Mm -hmm. And this one was just right off the bat accepted by everyone. It's because Bape's that shit. Everyone's fucking with a Bape than Ape. It's, it's been here since 93. Everyone's rocking with that. That's that's For it. Sure. Enough said. Sure. Boom, you know, well, next topic. <laughs> right. Well, see, but I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm not knocking it because uh, because there is um, Sire Brand, Sire, uh, Sire Collective. He came out with his Do Ones Yourself, which was basically an homage also to a Jordan 1. He did a jo uh, Jordan 1 High and then a Jordan 1 Low, but his Jordan mm -hmm. 1 Low has got straps on it. I, I, have you right. seen them before? No, no, I haven't seen the Sire Collective ones, but I mean, I know they're fired because his brand is just amazing. Shout out, you know. But so just so y'all can see it real quick, we're gonna take a uh, we're, we're gonna break this 2021 man. We we start a brand new me. Hold on one second. I'm gonna show y'all what, what he's messing with real quick. Okay. This is crazy. We this is a sneakers in up first right now, Cola. He's pulling out a shoe. He never does this. This is new. Oh, okay. I'm glad I'm here. To, I'm glad I'm here for that premiere. Right. All right. So these are the Lucy ones. They look like Newports. What? Yes. What? So what? the, the what? inspiration for the sneak is, uh, yeah, you remember the uh, the Lucy Air Force yeah. Ones back in the day? Right. Yeah. So, uh, but they weren't Air Force Ones. It was the dude. It, it, that was a crazy thing. Post. So, but just so that way y'all can see. So obviously they're the sneakers. But, wow. But he, yo, I'm telling y'all, man, when he goes all out, he put a picture. That's his uncle, his real life uncle right there. Yeah, bitch. Commercial. That's, that's his uncle. About, talk about exclusive. Bruh, it comes with a Sire Collective ashtray. Now, did what? it come with a pack of pots? <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't that's smoke. the only thing missing, right? Right. <laughs> so it comes with gold laces, like the foil that wrap around. What? That's sick, bro. That's crazy. Then it comes with uh, laces that look like cigarettes. Wow. And that's that's off the record. Solid. Now, yes. before and we go then, forward, do you think that he's giving a wrong message by putting out a cigarette shoe that a lot of youth and people would get if you're trying to be politically correct? No, well, so not everyone can get this shoe, first off. Right. You got to be a member to get it. But he said straight up that this was paying homage to the, uh, to the dude who did um, the Air Force One, the Newport Air Force One back in the day, mm -hmm. uh, also to his uncle. So that was like he had he had, he posts this big old story about it. Right. It's interesting. Like so, and then it also comes with crazy. a hang tag. Uh, but oh, if I could do it right. It's a lighter? Yeah, it's a lighter. I haven't lit in it yet, I don't smoke, but if I can anyway, 
But yeah, it's a, a, it's a lighter. Hang tag lighter. It's wow. a hang tag lighter. Wow. That's crazy. So I'm like, he going all out. So if someone's going to copy or get uh, inspiration from somebody else, this is how I want it done. Right. Right. That That's amazing. We haven't even sure. gotten to the shoe yet. Right. So I've been this, waiting for that. So this the sneaker, I got to tell you, man, this material on here is like some of the craziest material I'm holding in hand. This is one of my pickups of the year. Wow. Wow. Uh, the leather is crazy. Like he really went all out on it. Those are so sick. So we, like I said, it looks like an Air Force One, a low mm -hmm. top, but it's got the straps on there. So he's like, he's just, an, just different enough. Well, it's kind of like more like a dunk to me, but uh, it could be that too. Well, I mean, if you take this off, it it kind of does look like a. Uh, it could. Well, I mean, Duncan, uh, Duncan, a Jordan one. I mean, Jordan one is what I meant. My bad. Right. Uh, Jordan one and a Duncan, you know. Basically, basically one and the same anyway yeah so but that's uh that's that's what i'm looking at so when i see a jordan one that do ones yourself he's got a mm -hmm. high top version of this too not this shoe but uh high top version of that model all right and it's fire well, yeah so uh so but like i said i'm i'm okay with people getting inspiration from like jordan one dunks and whatever like that i was just curious why it was with babe it was welcomed with open arms but everybody else they trying to you know what i mean trying to do a lawsuit it's because mm -hmm. babe's whole brand has been about like the imitation of other brands and pop culture phenomenon like that's what babe yeah. is about so if you think about it that's why they're getting away with it when other people do it you're like hey you're being like babe pretty much people are saying you're pretty much copying the people who've already tried copying other people fair <laughs> enough and I, I, I wasn't looking for a response for me to argue with or, or uh, to rebuttal against. Right. I just simply wanted an answer. So, I mean, that works for me. That does make sense, though, because they did open up. They came straight out the gate with the Air Force One with the star on yep. it, which yep. still to this day. I, oh, and they're supposed to come out with a superhero pack, too. I know. We were about to talk about that for the mm, Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. All right. So, you got anything else that you watching? Rocking, uh, watching? Any movies, TV you watching? Carla, you up. Oh, it's me? I thought he said anything else. I thought he was still oh, talking was, to you. Yeah, I was asking you. Are you, are you any movies, TV you watching? You good? Uh, let's see. One moment. Sure. Okay, we're going to start with what I'm watching. Okay, let's do that. This here, Batman. Death Yo. in the Family. Okay. It's called Death in the Family. It's an interactive DVD. It has about eight different endings and you get to choose the endings throughout to watch, you know, different endings. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Now let me I ask a question. I'd... Is it worth it? Cause I've seen the, um, I've seen the first one, the, the, the story that um, it was originally on the, uh, they came uh, over the movie at least. With at Joker? least uh, Red, yes. Red Hood? Yes. Red Hood. Yes. Yeah. So I seen that one. And I didn't get the, uh, this one because I figured, okay, you know, it, it, the storyline can't be that different. Is it worth it? Uh, definitely. They have they have that particular storyline you're speaking on and several others. Mm. Uh, and it was only about 20 bucks. Uh, and you can also watch it online for free. You know what I'm saying? It's not something you know you got. Um, okay. I think you do have to have the hard copy to interact, though. Oh yeah, oh, okay. Because it's like a pick your own adventure book where you choose right. a different path during the right. during the movie. And, uh, and that I, makes sense. I just thought, that, yeah, I thought that was just cool on its own. That's really what made me go for it. Um, okay. Because uh, because I I'm, I'm big, so I love I love Marvel movies, but I love DC animated movies. Right. right. That's true. Right. People sleep on DC animated movies big time. They're fire. Sure. Huh. Um. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely are slept on. Um, and I, I probably will agree with you on that. Uh, they definitely have a lot of good anime, animated movies. Uh, DC. I, um, I, I and, prefer their animated movies to their uh, live action. To be honest with you, well, I mean, well, if they I keep... can't, I... go ahead. You're right. You're right. You're definitely right. I can't, I can't disagree with you there. Uh, their live action movies. I'm not gonna say they stink. They just, that's like they're missing something. You know. It, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like they're missing something. I I can't quite pinpoint it, but they're definitely missing something. You know, you watch a DC movie, then you watch a Marvel movie, and you're like, damn. You know, you got you get way more excited from the Marvel movies. You know, 
mm-hmm. I guess I guess they kind of stick to the script more, and DC tend to try to be, go outside the box, and they tend I, I, to disappoint fans. I, I I I can't pinpoint it either. I think that they're trying to be they're trying to be too dark, right? And then, but they're trying to be really dark, but at the same time, they're trying to bring the comedy and bring the life and the upbeat, but it's really hard to do that if you have such a dark contrast to the movie itself. Right. So like you said, there's, there's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, with the movies at all. Like, well, we won't talk about Green Lantern, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, right. I mean, there's like the Wonder Woman was an amazing movie. Um, the new Wonder Woman, I like it. Uh, I hear a lot of mixed reviews, but I liked it. Okay. Uh, uh, it was okay. I didn't see I, I actually didn't, I, I didn't finish it. Uh, I just feel like it was too slow, you know, get to the action. I, you already had, you know, a previous installment. So right. That's this fair. one should be a lot more, you know, a lot more entertaining. I feel a little more, a lot more action, but it, it's almost like they restarted another story for her, you know, I don't know. Okay, that that's that's a good point of view. I like that's that. Pretty fair. Yeah, yeah, that make that makes sense. That makes sense. That when if you think about that approach to it, yeah, I can see that. You know, okay. Uh, I like the whole you know invisible jet thing they did. That was dope. You know, uh, you know the new the new costume. I thought it was dope. Uh, you know, but I just feel like they 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 just need to. They need to, they need to unlock it, man, and just let it fly. You know, like, mm-hmm. like DC is holding back or something. You know, uh, I, I, you know, to be honest with you, and you know what could be one of the biggest things that they're missing is uh, small cameos from like other, uh, like you know how Marvel has bunch of cameos from other people. Sure. Mm-hmm. I think sure. that they definitely could have brought in some cameos in this one, because um, mm-hmm. and then there's a lot of questions also with this movie. Um, you know, if everybody's taking back their wish, uh, why did the, uh, why is Cheetah still a Cheetah? I mean, cause she's in the comics, she's been a Cheetah like forever and she's always going to be a Cheetah, but was right. she still a Cheetah afterwards? Like we don't really know. Um, flying. I mean, I didn't really understand the whole flying thing. Can she fly or can she not fly? Right. If right. she can fly, then what's the point of the invisible jet? I mean, like I said, there's yeah. just so many yeah. open-ended questions with it. That you kind of just like, um, I, really I mean, if you notice, <clears throat> sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. Uh, if you noticed, um, you know, after a while, the more they show Wonder Woman, you know, throughout the years, you really didn't see the plane anymore. You know, she became a flight character after a while, you know. Right, right. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm assuming that's probably what they're going to go into. And I just don't like the slow pace of it, you know. If she's going to, yeah. you know, get this, you know, show give me something to go on, man. Like, fair enough. Yeah. Like they try, they trying to milk the game or something, bro. You know. That's true. That is definitely true. They did, they did a lot of character development with the, um, oh man, her her name is leaving me now, but basically Cheetah. They did a lot of character development with her. They they came in and basically gave uh, gave her kind of like her own side of the movie, mm. right? Which still kind of threw me off a little bit because I didn't understand. I mean, she's a villain, or she's the um, she's the bad person in this movie, or the antagonist. Sorry, she's she's one of the antagonists. Why, why does she need the big backstory uh, about them being friends the entire time? So it just right. brings the question: Are they going to adapt the uh, Wonder Woman and Cheetah friend uh, or friends in the comics right. later? Right, right. Oh, so they oh, were. Oh, so they weren't ori- They weren't originally friends in the comics. No. No, in the wow. comics they were they were enemies. They were enemies, and then uh, I guess later on in the years uh, they came out with a storyline where Cheetah and uh, Wonder Woman were friends, and they ran off that or allies, oh, allies. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. They ran yeah. I, so, they, like I said, there's so many open open ended questions. You you really don't know what's going on, right? So it, it's just uh, weird. So, but anyway, sorry to cut you off. We went on a whole thing. So obviously that's one of the movies that I watched. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, right, 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 right. Uh, are you watching anything else? Are you rocking anything? What you got? Uh, what are, uh, well, you see What's the hoodie. hoodie. Yeah, what is This that? is an original Nike hoodie, you know. Just okay. Nike Air hoodie. Uh, and of course I got the good old, uh, the nine to go to match the hoodie. Hey. Ooh. Okay, you know? okay. You weren't yeah. playing with 
Okay. That's, that's that's about it. Something simple. Something I just threw on for today. Pretty rainy, rainy in my city right now, Baltimore. So I ain't, I ain't really feel no need to to put it on today, even though it's New Year's. Happy New it. Year's, by the way. Yes, Year. Happy New Year's, gentlemen. Right, right. Uh, and I got a slew of anime I'm into right now. Black Clover, uh, Boral Toast, uh, the animated series. I have uh, Attack on Titan Season 3, which just dropped. I'm into uh, it's also a new anime that's pretty hot right now called Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, now, what is that shit about? Hmm. It's 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 um it's loosely about this kid who goes around and eats the body parts of this super powerful demon, and the average person wouldn't be able to handle eating. I think he has ten fingers. It's, it's not not body parts. It's fingers. Oh. And the average human that eats the finger tends to die from it. And of course he ate one finger and survived and became super powerful. And mm -hmm. he's going on a journey to eat them all. And it's a clan, or should I say a police force that kind of forbids, you know, any demon activity or any demons. And mm -hmm. they're basically going to allow him to eat all of the fingers and then attempt to kill him and the demon but I got a funny feeling there's going to be a twist to that. He's going to eat all the fingers probably and be so OP. You know, mind you, he keeps his personality. That's another thing that's throwing him off while, you know, while he's on this journey. He, it really, he has the alter ego of the demon, but he mm -hmm. really, you mm -hmm. know, has control. You know, he has control for the most part. I'm sure as the anime goes deeper and the more finger he, fingers he eats. <laughs> You know, it's going to get more. It's going to get more interesting. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, the, yeah, the concept wild. is is wild. Like it's wild, how he had, bro. the concept is wild, and he's got to eat fingers. It's, like you mentioned, eating <laughs> fingers right away. I'm like, whoa, yeah, what? I, I, yeah, I try to get to the to the you know the bulk of it. Right, right, right. right. So you really okay. get to understand. And um, there's a lot of underlining things that go on. There's a little comedy there, and there's a few other things that keep you interested. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're ready for mine because, uh, like I said, I was on vacation last week. So I got a slew of what you rock and what you're watching. All right. Let's hear the slew of this. All right. So we'll start off with the, uh, what I'm watching. So we already talked about it. I watched Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Uh, Wonder Woman 84. I watched uh, Soul. Uh, oh, I started to watch that. Okay. Yeah, it was I, great. Th I, I thought it was dope. Soul was great. I started to yeah. watch it too. I'm going to agree. I'm gonna have to agree. And I love it for the ethnic content. The ethnic yes. content okay. of that is amazing. It's a nice multicultural cast of voices. I think that Soul is a movie that every kid should watch as a Disney like Pixar movie. And it's really about life in your soul and what happens when you die and like your meaning yep. on the earth and stuff and like what's valuable in your life and what's not. And it really teaches oh. you some valuable lessons. It's a great movie. Yeah, okay. man. It did Pixar Disney knocked it out of the park again with this one? They did. So I can tell you that as a Knicks fan, uh, they had me. They had me at hello. Did you see the part when uh, when the little soul? No, no spoilers. Oh, 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 oh my bad. Okay, okay. Anyway, as for those that have watched it, um, if you remember the part about the Knicks, that part had me sold. Yep, that was great. I love that. Uh, part. So I was la I was laughing so hard, and then I was so mad. Right, and I was laughing so hard. Uh, I'm definitely sold off the off the little bit of information I'm getting from you guys. I, I was interested, you know, alone, but now I'm definitely gonna watch. I'll tell you, like you said, with with kind of like the uh, the ethnic world that they're living in. I mean, which is our world essentially. Um, but how they how they capture it and how they make it realistic, I was so I great. thought was amazing. It wasn't. Uh, it, it was modern day. I mean, one of the one of the dudes had Jays on. Yep. So he had okay. Jordan ones on. So I mean, like they, oh, okay. they really went into the detail with like capturing what it would be like in I mean, basically our world because I grew up in I grew up in that environment as well. Not mm -hmm. not in, on the East Coast, but you get what I'm saying, right? Okay. It was yeah. Was yeah really I think what uh, uh, I think uh, Miles Morales had the Jordan ones on in his movie too, right? Oh what, yes, he did. Have, what they even have a release based on that? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's dope. 
Um, sure. So uh, it was, uh, what did I say? I said uh, Wonder Woman 84, Soul. Mm-hmm. Um, then I watched uh, Raw Dolls Witches. Uh, that mm-hmm. was on HBO Now, uh, which was a wild movie. Um, then there was um, uh, Catching Up with Season 3 of Cobra Kai. Okay, oh. I, I'm I'm watching some of that tonight. Do not even spoil. Uh, I won't go any further into it. Right. Um, Man, he, he hates them spoils. No spoilers. Hands the roll if you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then I watched. Uh, Oh man, I forgot the actual name of it, but it's uh the Netflix Santa Claus movie. Uh the oh, second I one. loved it. Um the second one? Yes, part two. Um, yeah, with the Belschnickel. Cri- yeah, Christmas Chronicles. Yes, yes, yes. So no I was on that great nope. movie. Yes, I thought it was cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought I think I still like one more, but I did like two. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought they did a great job with it. Yeah, so that Christmas was great. Chron- Christmas Chronicles 2, yep. um, Midnight Sky. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the uh, George Clooney, right? Um, what else is there, man? Um, there's a, there's a few. Oh, uh, Super Intelligence. Okay, I didn't see that. Um, on HBO now. I'm telling y'all, man, I was on vacation. I, 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 right. I that's what I'm supposed to do on vacation, right? Just not don't use my brain, basically. Right. Um, there's a couple more in there, but uh, oh, uh, uh, Happy Time Murders. Okay. Uh, I'll end it there. We'll go with seven. Now, before so, you even go further, Christmas Chronicles is nothing but taking Jack Burton from Big Trouble Little China. Yeah, and it's a Santa Claus clothes. <laughs> it is him all over yes. again for that Santa. Yes, it's yes. so good. If you didn't see it, at Cola, you got to watch the Christmas Chronicles one and two. It's pretty it's much Jack it. Burton as Santa. Yeah, it's yeah, worth I'm it. I'm definitely not familiar. Uh, definitely something to look into for sure. It's yeah. Fire. All right, so uh, now what I'm rocking. Um, Typically, I only do what I'm rocking on my feet right now, but I got some catching up to do. So let's go with uh, on vacation. I had the Air Max 90 infrareds. Okay. I had the Adidas Ultra Boost, the new multicolor uh, recycled. All right. uh, The black version. Um, Mm -hmm. Then I had, uh, let's see, the Yellow Toes, uh, the Yellow Toe Questions. um, Yeah. The uh, Jordan Team 1. Yep. Um, those are classics. Yes, the black and white one. Okay, yep, I love those. Um, the Jordan Twelve, black and yellow. Okay. And you're putting all these up on the screen for everybody. Nigga. Yep, it's. I'm telling you, man, I'm about to flood the page. Um, I only got a few more though. So uh, Jordan Twelve, black and yellow. Um, Jordan Six DMP. I okay. wore four New Years, and then right now what I'm wearing on my feet is the uh, Sia Collective. NASA. I think these ones are the alternate NASA. Okay, alternate NASA. Yeah. Nice. Okay. You're going crazy. For sure. A little bit. A little bit. So, sure. and that's and that's just what I was wearing for like moments in time. Because I like to switch the sneakers out every once in a while and I'll walk down and check the mail and I'll put threes on and then I'll come back in the house and I'll put another shoe on and then I'll put another shoe on. Mm-hmm. I, I can I, do I'll it. wear them all. So that's why like it sucks it. whenever I try to sell them. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> they technically yeah. all touch ground. Yeah, this is what I'm rocking right now too, man. You gotta, you know, shout out to the ice cream Mount Fuji tea. You know, it's Mount okay. Fuji, but the but the cherry. Oh, is, I see it with the uh, cherry on top. Is the sun? Okay. You feel okay. me? Shout okay. out to my people in Japan, man. You already know. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay. That's neat. For sure. Driven. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the next segment. Do 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 do. Heat, sleep, or nah. Yeah. So for anyone. uh Tuning in for the first time, Heat, Sleep, or Not is basically just like it sounds. I'm going to give a list of sneakers that we're going to go into. Pitch is going to be on the screen, and we're just going to give our verdict of Heat. It's fire. It's dope. We need it. Sleep, eh, give or take. Cop it if it's on retail, below retail. Uh, nah, get it out of here. We don't want nothing to do with it. All right. So I, we, t- we talked about this sneaker before. Um, Dr. B, maybe I think me and you have. But we never gone over it individually, so I'm gonna. Uh, we'll start off with this one. Uh, but Cola, since you're the guest, man, we'll go ahead. We're gonna start with you first, Doctor B. Then you'll okay. go, and then I'll go. Um, basically, you can just give your verdict. If you want to say more about it, please do. So the first thing is gonna be the Jordan Jordan Four UNC. What you feeling? Heat sleeping now? Uh, I'm gonna say sleep. I'm gonna say sleep. Uh, I'm not 
not not really been a fan of the fours or fives. Um, uh, I like them. I like to see them. Like to watch people wear, you know. Right. Uh, I do love the North Carolina. Though. Okay. Uh, I do love the colorway. Um, you put that on a nine. I'm on it. You know. Uh, yeah. Or you put it on an eleven. I'm on it. Okay. Uh, but I say I say asleep. Yeah. All right, asleep. Fair. Back to B, how you feeling? Man, I'm gonna have to say this for me is a nine, man. You know, like okay. I do I do like North Carolina color Jordans, but they have to be those Columbia elevens. They gotta be the, the right. ones. Right. The thirteens, my ninja. Okay. Okay. They gotta be the twelves, but if they ain't none of that, you can leave it on the shelf. You heard me. Okay. Okay. No. So I have the saying: if it ain't the ones, elevens, thirteens, and twelves, you can leave them on the shelf. You feel me? Okay. I'm not. I'm nine eleven like a Porsche, bro, or like like an emergency. That's all I like. Nine eleven. I feel it. Um, for me, it's the heat. I gotta have them. Okay. I, I, I just looking at them, the material looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can tell from the tongue, but the tongue, um, instead of having just the Jordan logo on it, it has the old, like, it looks like the jersey size tag. Okay. That's on the tongue. Nice. So wow. that's a small detail that I saw. And the material looks crazy. And then that tag, and then the UNC colorway itself. Right. I got to have it. So for right. me, it's a heat. Okay. Cool. I do respect it. I just can't rock it. But I do think that anyone who pulls off a dope North Carolina fit and has them on is going to be butter. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. And then I got oh, yeah. the, uh, oh, yeah. I got, I oh, got yeah. the I UNC that. Jordan jersey to go with it. Oh, see? You're already ready. Oh, no. Nah, you definitely going to smoke them with that, bro. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next one is going to be the Air Max 97 undefeated uh, white, yellow, and blue. Cola, man, how you feeling? Mm. Uh -oh. I like Air Max. I like Air Max. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say another sleep. Okay. I'm gonna say another sleep. I like Air Max. It's just the colorway, literally. Okay. Uh, um, I don't know. I would have to see it. I would have to see it, you know, on body. You know what I'm saying? To give it a true, true judgment. But I'll say sleep from what i'm hearing okay the um the the picture that came out is just the first picture they'll they'll come out with some more on feet uh pictures right. with it so just so that way you know uh, obviously they'll drop it um so sleep for you dr b man how you feeling man those are nah man nah okay and why is because Air Max 97s need to be left alone, bro. They just need to be that silver with that red swoosh, you know, that those classic colors with the all reflective and stuff. Like when they start getting it. into this stuff, it's just like them doing all these crazy colorways of the Air Jordan. Right, right, right. Stuff like that. I'm getting tired of it. Stop. Leave them alone. Leave the Air Max alone, people. Leave them alone. See, hey, now man. I got I, I got I to disagree because I absolutely love all the crazy colorways they're dropping. Man, I think the I, I the love them. The shoe, it, the certain shoes I feel don't need to be played out in the way they're doing it. And now this is get graduating to one of those shoes that they're doing too much with. Hey, man, if it's if it's if it's money to be made, then it's colors to be made, bro. You know how yeah, it goes, bro. Fact, that's fact. That's you know true. how it goes, bro. Right, right. You know how the game. Goes. Uh, you was asking me. I'm just telling you how. I felt. Right, right, right. No, I, and I agree. I, I, right. I well. I, I don't agree with it, but I get what you're saying. I, I right. understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So the all gold, the silver bullets, yep. um, the classics. Um, I'm actually sad I had to sell both of them. They don't fit anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. So, but I'll get them next time around. Um, for me though, this sneaker is a nah. I don't I don't like this one. Um, mm -hmm. If it's gonna be a undefeated collaboration, it needs to be like the. Uh, and I'm proud to say that I just copped it, um, but it's the olive green mm -hmm. undefeated MX-97 or the right. uh, the black patent leather mm -hmm. or the white one. Those are fire. Right. For sure. Excuse me. The black and bolt one that they came out with in this pack with the olive green one, I think is whack. And in this one, I think is incredibly whack. So, no, right. I'm not feeling them at all. So, to me, it's a no. 
Okay. Yes. All right. So the next one is going to be the Adidas Dame Seven Chinese New Year. Cold okay. Man. I'm gonna just say right now, nah. <laughs> <laughs> A big Fair nah. Enough. Uh. So and then just to clarify uh, though, uh, you did get all the pictures right on the email. Uh. They're at the bottom. I didn't. I didn't actually. I don't hey, think I scrolled. I think I, I think I, I straight. You. I think I went straight into the link. I didn't even scroll down any further. Hey, uh, I, hey, I got you though. So, so, look, so what he, Shuey's talking about because your boy B's resourceful is gonna be this one right there. There you go. Right. Okay. You said Dame, right? Yeah. Yep, that red one right there. Uh, Adidas. Yeah. No, I'm not a fan. I, I honestly with Adidas. Uh, Really, the shell heads and a lot of the classic styles. Other than that, nah, I'm not a fan at all of any other type of Adidas besides the good old Yeezy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> other than that, yeah. Definitely okay, a big so, no. See, but, these ones are not. Uh, how about you? What you feeling, Dr. B? I say I respect Dame. Because Dame's not only representing Cali, but he's representing Portland, my hometown, and them good trailblazers, you dig me? Shout out respect, to them. Respect, respect. Yep. What? Hell nah. <laughs> was not fired. I wouldn't even wear these to go to the store to get swishes with. Like, that's that's how serious I'm against these. I feel it. Hey. Um, I would not let you go take out the trash in these. Like, if you I'm caught me you. in these and someone said, hey, Galaxy B, let me get a picture for Instagram. I just took the snap and I was wearing them. Nah, man. You, you just kick your, kick your sneakers off real quick? Bro, yeah, they're going to have to crop it out, bro. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> crop the shoes out. Crop the shoes out. <laughs> yeah, that's cold. The, uh, I mean, bro, I feel it, though. So, I mean, for me, these are also enough. I do like the details on them, but I really – Adidas basketball – Oh, let me, I, I agree with you, Cola. Um, Adidas just sucks. Like I'm just getting into Ultra Boost. Um, I, I, it's well known. I do not like the Yeezy model, with the exception of 700. Uh, I don't like any of the Yeezys. I don't like any of the Adidas except for Ultra Boost. Mm. So, uh, to me, Adidas basketball is probably one of the best ba or worst basketball lines. Period. Right. Right. So these are also a no. And there's nothing really they can do to salvage it. The details right. look pretty cool on it, though, with, like, the Chinese writing, uh, mm -hmm. with the gold and the black. Um, that part is cool, but nah, they, they can't save the, the model itself. There's no right. flex. No flex. Yeah, right, right. And uh, so, I mean, in order to, in order to, get ma to make a decent basketball sneaker nowadays, you really have to make it a, a – it has to be able to convert into lifestyle. Right, right. It can't just right. be exactly. a basketball sneaker. It has to convert to lifestyle. That's why LeBron's exactly. LeBron's is so universal and so loved is because it can be transitioned into a lifestyle sneaker, but Paul George's and Kyrie's cannot. Right, it's true. So yeah, okay. uh, where I'm from, where where I'm from, uh, last last statement on this. Where right. I'm from, if you wore that sneaker, the average person would think you have something generic on. Right. <laughs> like, like a pay less you or something. Right. So, I mean, in all honesty, though, I mean, and, and there's no disrespect to Dame. He didn't, you know, they, he didn't make that shoe. Um, but you might as well have a generic right. sneaker on if you're gonna wear that. Damn. Exactly. I mean, in all honesty. Um, okay, so the next one is gonna be the new 2021 uh Adidas Ultra Boost. And I and I got that up for for you, Gian Cola. So we're looking at right there, the all-white Ultra Boost. All right. That's going to be a super saying nah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, though. Bro. I, I, I couldn't. Me, personally, the cloth. It's the, it's the soft material. I can't get with the material. Uh, I feel like any person, not that I have bad feet, but... You know, people that have bad feet, you know, they can't wear those. It's going to show your toes, your toe print. It's more of like a, more like a, a track and field shoe, man. It's not really for style, if you ask me. Uh, right. So that's a big old, big old nah. Okay. How about you, Dr. B? What you feeling on these? 
I have to say that's a nah. I have not been on an episode where I had this many Nas, but this is a this is a ill this is a illmatic Nas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I um I try to mix it up this episode with grabbing a lot of stuff that we don't typically see. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it's the beginning beginning of the year, so I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Besides, you know, I I wanted to stay away from the Jordan ones and you mm -hmm. know the retros and I mean I could have very easily pulled those, but I wanted to bring something a little different to the table today. All right. Yeah. Um, but on that note, these are also a naw. Mm -hmm. um, these are not for uh, cola. I agree with you. I don't like. I don't care for this type of material up top. I mean, because where I live, it gets over hundred degrees easy on, during the summertime. So right. having that material is very beneficial. Um, but that material don't really care for. Uh, also, right. uh, looking at the sneaker, it does not look like it has the continental uh, outsole on it, which. I don't like that either. They need right. to put that back. They need to put that back. Because if you're walking out in 100 and something degree weather, that continental tie on the bottom of your sneaker will come in handy. Definitely. Right. For sure. All right. So now that I said I wanted to stay away from um, popular brands, let's get into our Yeezy 700 V1 Sun. Okay. Cola, now. what you feeling? <laughs> we got some heat, baby. We got some heat. Uh, and I specifically say heat because I I, I love the fall mustardy uh temple and butter looking color on them. Right. Um and, and that's also my favorite style, Yeezy as well. Um man, I never even saw those, so I, I'm I'm kind of coming off top of the head with excitement because sure. I, I I like I like those for sure. They fire. Uh, uh, maybe if the sole was black though, there, mm. there'll be even, even more, even more flames to me. You know, if the sole was black, but I'm digging them, man. All day. These are a youth size as well, so don't be confused. This is a youth size. Okay. The, the adult size shoe looks a lot different, but it's the same shoe. Okay. Right. Yeah, I like it. Is is the sole orange? Is the sole a different color? Yeah, it's like a solar orange, and the it's upper like top's more the mustard. Yeah. Oh, it, uh, okay. To okay. me, to me, the orange kind of reminds me of like a creamsicle orange. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I definitely love that style. Yeezy, the colorway. I would prefer more black, but I still keep it on the heat side of the scale. Definitely. Okay. And Doctor B, what you feeling? Man, that is fire, but I won't wear it. It's the heat, but I'd have to say it's kind of more for me asleep. Okay. So I'm gonna have to creep it from the heat to the sleep. You okay. Know? It's because I, feel it. sure. I just can now shout out to Kazi, you know, one of the past guests and my producer and best friend and Cola's friend as well. He mm -hmm. shout out me. to Kaz. Kaz, you already he wants know, bro. these so bad. I just not feeling them like that. Like I don't think I I know they're going to stand out and be fresh. And if you had a hoodie or something on like Cola's wearing something dope like that or some really dope ice cream or some shit, it'll look sick. But I just don't feel that for the Yeezy lineup colorway wise. I think it's kind of a two forced of colorway. They're like they're forcing a lot of colors. You got to buy like three different color shits just to match that. So they're trying to press yeah, you to yeah. get the apparel that goes with it to go to Adidas and get your mustard color hoodie and then get your orange colored hat. Then get yourself that weird Mariners and San Jose Sharks teal <laughs> laces. And, you know, I, it's too and too much. I can't run. Right, I feel you. Okay. I feel you there, bro. The shoe model is dope. I love those, the shoe model. Uh, yes. I love yes. these, but not that colorway. Okay. That's a sleep for sure, sleep. Okay. These, uh, these to me, I, I, I agree. These to me are also a sleep, but that's pending depending on how they look in person. Right. I'd have to see what the, how the colors hit in the sun. Right. If the, right, color, right. If the colors are beaming in the sun, then it's going to go to heat. If, you know, if it's looking flat, which, you know, unfortunately, a lot of the, um, a lot of the Yeezy uh, sneakers typically go toward the flat just because he likes to keep the earth tones. Right. right. Um, so the, if it was, if it's going to go toward that way, then it's going to be an, a nah. But mm -hmm. if it's going to pop, then it's going to be toward the heat, I think. And that would definitely be a summer fall sneaker. Fire. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so for, for me, my verdict is definitely a sleep pending. Sleep pending. Yes. 
All right. So the next one. So the next one is a Yeezy 380 Ash Stone. Okay. So uh, how are you feeling? It looks oh, almost so, like the I'm, first colorway it came out with. I'm all oh, I'm stuck between a sleep and a heat here. Um I'm gonna give them heat though, because I, I, I always like the any gray and white in a sneaker uh tends to captivate me. So okay. You know, it, it has the henna green in there. Um and I feel like you can do a lot. You know, you don't have to step out too far to to get a nice suit up with those. Okay. So I okay. say heat. I give them heat. All right, Dr. B, what you feeling? I definitely think those are a heat. They're yeah. Heat. So okay. I'm, I'm, I have like a few colors of the 380s right now. I like them. At least I, I got at least like two or three pair of them. Or I think it's two. I got the, the peppers and I got the calcite glow. Cal okay. Sykes, baby. Yeah. So, yeah. So I got two of them. And I, I love the 380s. They feel cool. They feel very elevated um, on the inside. They give you a, like a lot of higher arch in your foot and height. It gives you like more presence <laughs> when you wear them. Yeah, it you makes you more upright, which is, which is in the soul. Issue. That helps out right. a lot of dudes who are lacking maybe the height factor. And I think <laughs> that's great because anything that gives them that, that advantage helps. And anyone who's tall like me that wants to be a little bit taller. You rock that type of shoe. <laughs> and okay, that's fair. That presence. So I, I like any shoe that helps a brother out. So I feel it. Okay. Sure. Um, for me, these are asleep. They would be a naw, but the color is kind of dope. And what really what really gets it for me is the soul. Right. How it's almost like a clear soul, but it has like the design inside of it. Mm. I think that's dope. For it's sure. Fine. So that's that's the reason why I'm gonna jump from a naw because it's a easy. Uh, non seven hundred, um, so it's gonna go from a nod to a sleep. Fire, that yeah. all right. So now the last one is, and you'll have to show all three sneakers is the Reebok Kung Fu Panda collection that they're dropping. So we start with this clip C. So and you can't see it on there, but there is like a, uh, in on that white one, there is like a stitch stitching detailing of okay. like the characters from Kung Fu Panda. Oh wow! Uh, and one so more. That one, and then yeah. the, uh, Insta Pump. All right. So, ah, uh, uh, that's a nah for me. Uh, I always thought that particular style of Reebok, excluding the pump, was a generic looking shoe. Uh, the concept of Kung Fu Panda, although, is is dope. Um. And the pump itself, it, it kind of goes in the same category as the cloth running track shoe that we just saw in the, uh, one of the last sets. Uh, so it's going to be a nah. Shout out okay. to the hot boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. B, how you feeling? I'm going to have to agree with young Killer Cola from Baltimore with the nah. We're going to have to go ahead and double. That's the that's call. We're going to call that the double nah. Okay. Sure. Double nah. All right. Well, for me, it's going to be a sleep. And uh, the only one that I really don't care for is the all white one. Mm -hmm. um, I think the uh, the club C with the pattern, like the pattern uh, patterns on it. I think that mm -hmm. one's a kid shoe. I definitely want to get that for my son. And Go then ahead. I like the Insta Pump Fury, and I like that one. It it it's it's Kung Fu Panda without being a Kung Fu Panda. So right. it has like it has the earth tone. So it's got the tan. It's got the black. I think it's got a little bit of fur on it. Um, on the pump itself, it has. I think it's the actual like the like a uh, black on black uh, Kung Fu Panda himself. I think is what Power. Oh, okay. I think his name. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it uh, closely, you can see that it's the Kung Fu Panda. But if you if you're just kind of uh, from afar, it just looks like a regular Insta Pump Fury. And I like the earth tones on it. So I think that was dope. Oh, so to me, it's going to be a sleep, um, but I, I'm definitely going to try for him and I'm going to try for a pair for my son, too. What a right. good father. Of course. Definitely digging the great, the great school idea is awesome. Yeah, okay. I like I like that they uh, I like that they did the that patchwork one, too, and not that white one. Right. 
Because uh, if you know, giving your, giving your kids a white sneaker is not a not a smart move. Not at all. Nah, mm-hmm. not at all. <laughs> all right. So the next one is going to be an Air Max Plus Three. Okay. Uh, that's a nah for me. Ever been an Air Max Plus fan? Uh, um. Don't like the colorway. Uh, just nah. I, I'll hand off and say, hand off <laughs> say those. Those got me speechless. Those, those, those uh, no. Nah. Okay, nah, fair nah, enough. Nah. All right, Doctor B, how you feeling? My reaction says everything. You sleep? These are trash. <laughs> 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 This guy, hey man, you try. Hey. Uh, you know, I wouldn't even wear these to PE. In I high agree. School. I wouldn't even wear these I... to PE in high school. These are trash. Like you wouldn't even catch me. You couldn't catch me doing the laundry, <laughs> taking out the trash, getting swishes, doing right. anything in these. These are trash. These are, look yeah. like a trash performance shoe. I mean, I'm an Air Max fan. These look like a splice between so many bad Air Maxes that shouldn't have been out. And then they're going to have to slice an ugly throw-up Xbox colorway on it. Get out of here. I'm done. So funny right. enough, funny enough that this sneaker, this sneaker is a retro. It, ca- it came out years ago. I remember it. Yeah. yeah. I remember so, the style. Sure. Uh, the retail on these is $200. Hell no. Nah. Uh, yeah. What? That's what I said. That's the reason why. Nah. So I did, I did own these back in the day. Not this color. I had the blue ones with like the yellow and black. Seriously, um, Retail is two hundred dollars, cause I I was gonna buy the blue ones, cause I was looking for them, you know, the, the nostalgia aspect, cause I had them back in the day. Right. I'm I'm not paying that. I mean, if they were like one forty yeah. plus my discount, then I would be I would be okay with that. I could but, be okay with that, man. I wouldn't even pay eighty nine ninety nine for those pieces of trash. Well, like I said, nostalgia for me. Okay. So, right. 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 That's so, fair. um, but the green colorway I thought was was a nah. The sneaker itself is more now. The sneaker, I have to admit, it at least from what I remember, is still is comfortable. It's a comfortable sneaker, mm-hmm. uh, and it is definitely more of that athletic lifestyle. Uh, athletic, uh, obviously, the athletic um, presence, like it has that look. So, like if you wear joggers or you know, like the right, above right. the knee shorts, then mm-hmm. you fine. But if you're trying to stunt, it's not a stunting sneaker. So. For me, this this colorway is a now, but the model itself is a sleep, possibly right. depending on the color. So, but for me, this this the colorway is a now. That's fair. Is it? And like I said, if it's nostalgia for you, rock it. Yes. yes. All day and long. It, yeah. You know, the so colorway it, is what the colorway ran me off. Right. Instantly. Right. 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 And it, it typically would. That was the only one that I can find that was new, um, but. Also, the price tag is kind of throwing me too. I'm not really feeling that $200 retail price tag. That's crazy to me. Not, not at all. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy to me. This shoe, um, especially for a, especially for a low for a low sneaker, man. I, right. Well, I mean, it's not even not even for like a, one of the hype ones, like the Air Max right. uh, 95 Neon Green OG. Right. Even those were uh, weren't $200. Top so tier I, Air Max, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, so okay, but so we got one more. And it is the Jordan 5 clot, uh, Air Jordan 35, sorry, Air Jordan 35 clot. Now, if you can't tell that circle right there uh, in the hole, that's jade. Real jade? I don't know if it's, no, it can't be real jade. It's on a performance nigga. But it's supposed uh-huh. to look like jade. Well. So it's the Air Jordan 35 clot collaboration. What do you think? How you feel? Cola's aspect is another no. Okay. I feel like, I feel like we can just have a clip of no's after this episode. Right. Uh, now, I'm going to quote my guy here, Dr. B. After the 13, you lost me, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like they had so many failed attempts to try to get a new number in the 20s to pop like the num the early on numbers of the Jordans and they just keep failing and I don't understand why like it's 2020 
I don't get who's sitting at these desks, bro. Like, seriously. Like, <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Uh, that's just enough for me. I can't get with they like the futuristic thing they're going for with all these new numbers and styles of Jordan. It's just embarrassing, if you ask me. If I was Jordan, I would have felt embarrassed a long time ago. Um, but yeah, that's my take. Now it okay. is. All right, now it is. All right, Dr. B, how you feeling? All right, well, where do I begin here? Let's let's start with the shoe looks like trash. Okay. Uh, okay. The design of this shoe looks like, I don't know, a 13-year-old in 1995 who loves sci-fi movies drew it up. Like, it looks terrible. And I wouldn't even spend 100, 50, 25, <laughs> 15. Do you, are you seeing? I get you. I'm 10, with you. Five I'm zero with you. on this. I would spend I'm negative money on this. They have to pay me to wear it. I, I think these are terrible. I think Jordan is going too far. Somebody needs to step in. Like Kanye West said, he needs to crush him because you're letting him get away with this. Now, him doing his retro arc, that is what we love Jordan for. These right. 20s, 21s, 22s. We're on a Jordan 35. I didn't even know that. Yep. Exactly, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's like uh, it's, that. That they, they, that. they, sh- they shouldn't have numbers, bro. They should not have numbers. They should have been stopped the numbers because the numbers aren't keeping up with the hype of the retro. So why continue the numbers? For what? Very true. It should just be Air Jordan Legacy, Air Jordan Vision, Air Jordan. You know, whatever the fuck. Any you- anything. It could be anything. Jordan is Jordan's name on his own self, so you could put whatever. You want to put behind that? You know, I don't like that. I'm I just don't like what they're doing with this, and it, and and it needs to stop. <laughs> well, I think the reason why they they numbered it so that way they can justify paying a high, uh, making people high, pay a higher price. Because if it's a retro, you can pay or you can charge people. You know, one eighty to two twenty, depending on okay. what it is. Okay. So because if it's not, then it typically falls under a team Jordan, and then that is like one forty, one fifty. So because you're giving it a number, you're automatically uh, able to sell it for $80 more per, per sneaker. I don't yeah, get that me. when he didn't play past a certain point and the value should only be on the shoes that he played up to, which was the 14. Right. Right, right, right. Both of you 14, guys have awesome points. Need, Both of you guys right. have awesome points all day. You know, 14 is where it needs to stop. Right. right. No, and I get that. Because that's the last shoe he played in, isn't it? Am I correct? Uh, I thought it was. The, I thought it was. The, I thought it was. No, the third, no, no. He he played in uh 15s. He played in 60. Because remember with the Wizards, Wizards. Oh, right. okay, okay. Sorry, right. I'm talking about Golden Era Bulls. He stopped at 14, right? Right. So, but he played all the way up into the. I want to say the 17s. Oh, the suitcase ones. Yep. Yeah, I think yeah, I that was the pair. last one. I own a few pair of those. Now, though, I mean, those are comfortable, though. The suitcase Jays, the 17s, those were comfortable. Yeah, those aren't bad. No, and I, I, I had a pair. I like them on foot. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was the last time they gave a damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the 15s were very nostalgic for me, this, uh, especially the gray ones, the white and gray. Those mm-hmm. ones are very nostalgic for me. Um, I don't know how I would feel about it as an adult with a tongue. That you know how it had that little hook sneaking out for it. There was Are you talking about the yeah, yeah. 15s? Uh on the 15s, yeah. I don't like that 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 gravy boat that thing. I don't like that. Right. But I the gray the gray have, one for me. I had the obsidian. Are they the ones, were they the ones that had no no laces? No, they, no, had, laces. they, they had laces. Okay. They were just inside. They looked look like a big boat. And then it looked, yeah, it looked like a gravy boat. Tongue on it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it had the tongue that stuck out real far. Yep, but it stuck out. It didn't stick up. It, it stuck out. It, yeah, it's like a frick. It looks like a little gravy boat sticking out of it. Oh, okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, it has terrible. all the little small, the little small squares on the. Um, yep, yep, yep. The little quilted yeah. pattern looking thing on it. Yeah, the and laces the on the side of the laces. Yep, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, okay. They weren't bad. Uh, I, I, I know plenty of guys that 
that liked them. I like the gray ones definitely. Uh, now that I remember, yeah, those are the ones. Those are the ones that I had. Those are the ones that are nostalgic to me. If those came out, I'd oh. probably go for those. I wouldn't go for any other color. For sure, they, they don't tend to bring out the, uh, the 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 later teen retros much. They will eventually, just because you know people our age are going to be like, man, when the hell are they going to come out with those again? They're going to drop them, and the the younger generation will probably try and jump on them, but then they'll be like, oh, we don't like them, and and then I'll buy one pair, and somebody else will buy one pair or one colorway, it's, mm-hmm. and then they'll sit and go on sale. Then right. Jordan will be like, oh, they're not selling anymore, so <laughs> we'll release them again in another 30 years. So yeah. that kind of stuff. I um, got those, actually. I have the, um, the bread... 15s they're bread with the little graphite side yep. little mill panel i yep. have those and then i had the obsidian and white ones oh yeah yeah. okay yeah i had okay. those in high school i was rocking them in high school i was i had fits too and i would always cover up that gravy boat tongue part i hated it so i so did i with the jeans yep i, I had my covered jeans, up with the jeans that up and i'd be like oh i'm in the 15s on you you know what yeah. though real talk i actually uh i mean since we're being honest i actually kind of low-key like the tongue because only with jeans because when you drop the jeans down because the tongue sticks out the jeans sit on top of it <laughs> so yep. it didn't and cover, it didn't cover the front of the yep. sneaker yeah, exactly right no right. well, i mean you know you got to be resourceful right use what you got yep yes sir all right so um now the jordan 35 i'm actually on the fence with the model itself i mm-hmm. like this one now the reason why i like it is because of the clock because this one's going to be more of a lifestyle side of uh, of the performance i love the fact that they added the jade to it i thought that was really creative right. um the clot colorway is always that kind of beige tan colorway but the materials are always a1 so right, right, the, right. that material on there um the design of the sneak itself again i mm, it you know it has it, it reminds me of a shack gnosis right so that's it's at the very first time I seen that sneaker, I was that's that's where my mind was at. Um, so it's kind of hard to get that out of there. Uh, have either one of you tried on? Well, you said you didn't even know there was a thirty-five. So I'll mm-hmm. just tell you um, the thirty ones, and then the thirty ones, and then the thirty thirty fours, and the thirty fives are mm-hmm. crazy comfortable. Okay, weird, as far as performance goes. Mm-hmm. So I like to play basketball. So I wear these as basketball sneakers. Well, mm-hmm. at least I used to before COVID. Um, they are crazy comfortable. Mm-hmm. And the 34s had, the Zoom had some crazy bounce. Mm. Okay. So that's probably the reason why they're still coming out with the numbers is because they're putting more thought into the sneaker more so than the rest of them. Mm-hmm. But they definitely, definitely do not justify the price. Yeah, I agree. So, but for this one, for me, I would consider this one the heat just because of the details. That jade part on there really sells that sneaker for me. Mm-hmm. So for me, that jade, that big clip of jade, like that, I think that was dope and super creative to u- to utilize that space for that. Definitely. So to me, it's a heat. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So now, sleeper of the week. So... Cola, we'll start with you, sir, since you said you uh, you got one. What is your sleeper of the week? Uh, I just got into a HBO show, something I know you are into a lot. You use HBO Plus. Uh, yep. And this is a new season coming soon. It's the Titan show. Teen Titans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but they had the live action now. Yes. On HBO. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought it was amazing. I was always a Teen Titan fan. Um, and it's 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 for us, man. It's for the for the adults now, you know. Yep. And, and that's what drew me in, you know. Uh, the first episode, maybe the second episode, it was like a gunshot wound victim to the head. I was like, you know, okay. They not playing here, you know. It's 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 really gory, you know. Some some contorted bodies from Raven. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, it was all type of things, beheadings and man, it's 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 definitely worth to watch, bro. Like I watched the first two seasons and it was amazing. Is there a third season yet? It, it's coming. It's coming soon. Uh, oh, COVID I can't everything. wait. 
I COVID can't slowed wait. everything down. COVID slowed everything down, bro. You know, but it's coming. So uh, I got to like, admit that, that that's a good sleeper. That's a good right. sleeper of the week. Right. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Cause uh, uh, yeah, cause that's that that's a dope show. Yeah, sure. trying hey. to make a comeback because of the movie slacking. They're trying to make their shows more fire right now. Yeah, man, that one caught me off guard, bro. Like I was like, wow, this this is good. Like I'm really I'm, good. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna venture off a little bit, and I'm gonna uh I'm going to add to your sleeper of the week, um, along with uh Teen Titans. People need to watch Doom Patrol. Oh, oh I I I've, I've been I've seen a trailer. Watch I've it. Seen the trailer. Watch it. it. Channels and all. Okay. It's uh, it's on HBO uh, HBO Plus. All right. Or see, HBO okay. Max. That see those are the those are the channels I need to get more up on. Like I'm messing with the you know the 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 Netflix and the Hulu's and the oh Doom yeah, yeah. And the Voodoo's and the Doofus and the Count well, Doofus and shit like hey, that. Hey B I, B, I plugged you in already, bro. You can't say I did. Oh yeah, man. no, I yeah, <laughs> and you know I know where to go, so I'll go and check that out. Yep, enough said. Ah. ah. He knows. I don't need. I don't need no nothing. We don't need to go any further about that. But I will be checking it out. You heard, right? Right. right yes, right. because HBO Max is where they're going to release. Uh, well, that's where Wonder Woman's at to watch. But that's where they're going to release um, the Zack Snyder cut of the uh, Justice League. Okay. I can't wait, bro. Can't wait. Man, for real. Can't wait. I'm super juiced for that. Six. It's like for what? Sure. Six hours? A six-hour movie? For Let's sure. go. Yeah. Six hour movie. It's a six hour movie. Let's go. But it's the same movie that we've seen. It's longer. It's it's, fam. It's gonna have um. It's gonna dark have side. Uh, dark side in it. It's gonna have Green Lantern in it. It's gonna because have... they weren't they weren't in the original. No, they were in the original. They were in yeah. Zack Snyder's cut. But Zack Snyder had this family emergency toward the ending of it. He couldn't finish the movie, so he had to pull out. They brought in a different director, and the different director cut it down to two hours or whatever it is. But he it's took gonna have a, a lot of the same scenes that we've seen before. Yeah, it's it's gonna I'm have. Sure, I'm, it, I'm sure it does, you know. But come on, six hours compared to two hours. I'm right. not even worried about what I saw before. I'm concerned facts. about what I didn't see. Facts. You know, right, right, right. But, so but I don't know. It's gonna kind of taint me when I've seen the ending of those ones, and then a new ending is gonna come. It's and then not all the ending the of that I'm gonna see in this other one. It kind of throws me off because they're it's, gonna place it differently. It's not the ending. But, Okay, it's not the ending. Okay, got it. Enough said. That, that was the ending of that movie. Because, I mean, it didn't occur to you or you didn't think like, okay, I mean, obviously you know about The Flash, you know who The Flash is, you know his story, mm -hmm. but it didn't it didn't bug you at all that that the Justice League was, was like the intro to The Flash with no backstory, no this, no that. He just showed up. Right. You know um, what I mean? I'm so, such I mean, a big fan. It, right. It didn't bother me technically because of how much of a fan I am. Okay. Now, um, take but now that you mention it, take your fandom and throw it over there. Now, now watch, that you like, mention think of it, it yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Think of it as a movie, like watch it. Right. And, because so when I, when I approach movies and this is why I have a hard time, like disliking movies is I take anything that I walk in there knowing I take it mm -hmm. and throw it out the window. Right. Because if you walk in there knowing things and having an expectation, every movie is going to fail. Because it's never going to be good enough for you, right? Right. So I take all of my expectations and I take uh, you know basically a lot of stuff that I remember and I throw it out the window and I say, okay, I'm here for entertainment. Entertain me. So right. That's entertainment, entertainment value. Um, it, the Justice League was eh. now as a fan, I was over the moon because I knew about the Flash, I knew about Aquaman. You know, what I mean, I knew about Cyborg. I already knew that. But there was right. no intro to any of these people, and they just showed up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, did, right. and no one knew where the mother box was. So they gave a quick little, you know, quick little story. I mean, really? That's, that's your whole premise of your Justice League universe, and that's the intro to a mother box. I just feel like they're trying to play catch up with Marvel, you know. Mm -hmm. Fast. And that's why, I, that's why everything was on fast forward, you know, like it was. Um Facts, big facts. Uh, you know, and I think Snyder's cut of help. You know, man, especially especially depending on you know how it go. Uh, I think it definitely help. I think it's gonna send them leaps and bounds forward. I'm gonna way watch. forward. I'm hoping. 
Th this one, I have to admit, is going to be hard for me to take away that my, my expectations from watching it because my expectations are super high with this one. All right. Definitely. So, okay. So, my bad. So, I got carried away. But your sleeper of the week was uh, Teen Titans. And then I uh, added on to that for Doom Patrol. For sure. Okay. So, I should sleep. I might, I, might, I might start that up tonight, man. You, 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 you should. I, I'm, I'm a real critic, man. I might, I might just. Start episode one tonight, man. You should. And then uh, there's one more um, that's going to be very similar to Doom Patrol. It's on um, it's on Netflix, so The Umbrella Academy. I've seen that. Yeah. Isn't that what that is? You, tell me you don't think that was dope. I like Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy. Yeah. It's, Umbrella it's as like, in Resident, Resident Evil Umbrella? Or nah. Nah. No, like no, 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 no. Umbrella Academy is about, it's like an off-brand X-Men. It's weird. Kind of like that, yeah. But, but it's, it's like, uh, if, like, if you okay, take okay. a Watchmen and you take X-Men, you kind of put it together. It's like a Watchmen yeah. version of X-Men. I just it's watched like the, uh, the New Mutants. That's a, uh, I think yes. I just sent off as well. Yes, that's dope too. Is it out? Yeah. Yeah, it's out. It's out. What channel is on? You know the channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to watch that, yeah. So, um, I'm going to be watching New Mutants now. Um, New Mutants is dope. I, I saw it in Academy, theaters. Though, before we go to I didn't the finish it. I didn't finish it. I got to get back into it myself, but I, I like the direction it was going in. And Umbrella Academy is fire, and mm -hmm. I do like it, and I like the fact of its watchman likeness because it's kind of dysfunctional, so that's yep. why I kind of like it. It's not your head-on superhero movie so or show. That's, so, so that's another one you got to watch is Umbrella Academy. For sure. For sure. I'm on it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Dr. B, what you got for sleep for the week? Um, now it's not going to be on the show, but it's going to be on some shoes and it's going to be that DC bathing ape collabo of those babes of patent leather, Batman and Superman pack coming. I need, what? yeah, I need what? the Supermans. I don't want, uh, the Batmans are cool. And Kazi, shout out to Kazi. He wants the Batmans because he's an ultimate Batman fan. And I respect Batman's gangster, but I like the Superman colorway of Superman's colors on the patent leather babesta with the star on the side. They fire. Just like the retros that they came out with in 2006 that had a gigantic comic book box. It's like a gigantic comic book box that has the shoes in them. It was sick. Oh, but I I've never seen the box. Oh, so if you go look it up, not only did they do that with the DC collabo, but they did that with the Marvel collabo as well. They have mm. Marvel, um, all these different characters they did for Marvel, Silver Surfer, all these different people. I and they those. have a gigantic comic book box is the shoe box for it. It's like, it oh, looks like a right. comic book. It's crazy. And it has the shoes in it. It's crazy. So Damn. I think it's the sleeper of the That's week. Dope. And they're coming That's out dope. soon. Um I don't quote me on the date right now. I cannot remember. I've been sipping and um, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, they're coming soon. Keep me uh keep me posted, please. My my son is a huge Batman fan. As long as they're not like crazy in price, I want to try for the smallest size available. They do they two something. Never mind. I love him, but I don't love him two something for a pair of sneakers <laughs> much. Not yet anyway. He's not grown yet. Right. Right. Well, damn. Oh well, there goes that. They got they got Batman to pay less. We cool. Right, right, right. You <laughs> right. Bet. Okay. Um, so mine is also going to be a sneaker. Uh, and it was so much of a sleeper this week that I decided to cop a pair. Um, but is the um, is the New Balance 992 Kith release. Uh, Kith, the Kithmas um, Mint. Kithmas Mint. Yeah. Man, well... In Baltimore, or should I say the DMV, the 992 is like the God sneaker, bro. Really? It really is. Like, you know, you got all these brands out here, man, but we love 992s, 990s, 993s, like, especially on the, on the, on the side of comfort. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong. You know, you can't go wrong. Um, and... We tend we we, we kind of made a symbol out of the out of the New Balance as far as style in in the nine nine brand like yeah you man. and be more right for sure yeah oh okay then yeah New Balance New Balance is is your cup of tea New Balance is is real big over there well I'm sure. for the listeners who don't know because obviously I right. can't tell someone from be more what is big in his area but yes right. New Balances are huge in Baltimore right definitely huge. But um, but yeah, I don't know if you can see, but in this little top section up 
right in, where my fingers at, that's all New Balances mm-hmm. right there. That's nine nine sevens are my favorite. Nine nineties okay. got the uh, nine nine twos coming, and I mm-hmm. bought a pair of the Jolly Rancher three two sevens as well. Okay, just to give yeah. them, just to give those a try. All right. So, yeah, but yeah, but language to me right now because I ain't got no New Balances right now at nah, all. It's all, it's all even, good, man. It's all I don't good. even got the grandpa ones. We, we, we got like we got some for everybody. Yeah, I would usually keep. Hey, man, let me see if I got. Do I have something on on standby here? I respect New Balances, and I've had them in the past. Don't get me wrong, but as in my recent years, or having them in my collection, I have zero New Balance right now. Zero. So, I feel it. Yeah. Nine ninety here. It's exclusive. Nine ninety. Yeah. They came out. They came out uh, for Fourth of July. They have the the insignia on the inside. Oh, the, the other one is, is is a different color, but yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah, those, we, we we throw we throw those around around. I got here, the uh, <laughs> we love those. They, I think they're called the uh, the sunrise, the nine nine uh, nine ninety sunrise. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that's what that. It's almost like a uh, like a like a peach, kind of like a peach one. I don't know. They're they're in they're up there somewhere. Right. So, but anyways, but that's my uh, that's my sleeper of the week because they actually dropped uh, in a pack. Uh, Kith released three of them. They released an all red one. They released right. a kind of like a burgundy uh, with like a thing was a little bit of mint and then mm-hmm. an all right. mint one. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Kids I didn't tend know to that. do those solid colors. <clears throat> yep, like that. Yep. But I didn't even know they dropped. It was a silent release to me anyway, especially for being a kid. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's my sleeper of the week. So I had to immediately go and buy the mint ones. Exclusive. That's so fire, bro. Like, those you, you are know, on the way. You got me. Yeah, from B-more with the 992, you got me, bro. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So that was all that we had for uh, for Sleep of the Week and for the majority of our sneaker talk. Now we're going to jump into our topics now. Now, the first one is I want to get both of your opinion. And here we can just, we can cut each other off. We can talk, talk over each other, whatever. But, uh, but the first one is Jerry Lorenzo. He has left Nike. And he is taking over Adidas basketball line. And I know we were just talking about the Adidas basketball. He's taking yep. over the Adidas basketball line. What are your thoughts? Do you does it make a difference? Is it gonna matter? Um I would say yes. Okay. Personally, uh I'm almost hundred percent certain the leading brand of back of basket basket sorry, basketball sneaker has to be Nike. Uh, so how could Adidas go wrong with having a guy like him? Uh, not saying they're going to surpass any of the leading brands, but I'm sure their brand will step up a lot, you know, having right. him on the team. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, I'll tell you, I think he is going to make huge strides. Now, um, I didn't. I didn't have this conversation earlier with us uh, here on the show, thinking about this as far as like coming up with the ideas or anything. Um, but I did make a good point earlier as I was going on my little tangent that the reason, the major reason why Adidas basketball doesn't transition over is because there's no lifestyle effect, right? Right. So, but you have Jerry Lorenzo, who's all about lifestyle. He's now in charge of the line of the basketball line. What is the first thing he's going to do? He's going to make it so that way it's going to be able to transition from the court to lifestyle. Mm-hmm. This can change the lineup completely. All right. This really could. True. Now, I think it would be smart to come out with two lines for every single uh, model they drop as far as the signature series. So like for Harden, for example, they come out with the Harden, you come out with the performance, and you come out with the casual, just like they used to do with LeBron's. Mm-hmm. Remember how they had the two LeBrons? They had the performance of LeBron and they had the EXT? Yep, I remember. Yeah. So I think that that's what they should do. Jerry Lorenzo should have basically the exact same performance sneaker, but bulky so that we can wear it in life size or lifestyle. And then you have the uh, performance model, which is super thin, has all you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. yeah, definitely. So it, because. It perfect sense. Right. So, I mean, because uh, he, I mean, he's got the Fear of God one. Which visually the sneaker is dope. I thought the sneaker was dope. The Fear of God one, the basketball one, and the normal one. Mm-hmm. 
So I mean, if he's gonna bring that type of that type of energy to the Adidas line, I think Nike kind of fucked up again. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's now, the, sec- now, that's the yes. second person from the Kanye camp they let go. Speaking on Nike's behalf, yeah, they definitely uh let's let the gold let the gold go. You know, uh, we're gonna see though. Uh, you got you got me interested knowing that. I, I had no idea. Tell. Right. Yeah, only time will tell. So I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, he could he could flop. He could do nothing. He could. I don't really see that though. I mean, because no, he is like expertise. He, yeah, I mean, well, because he's a lifestyle person, and he's not coming in. And I mean, he better not be taking over just the models that they have now. He better be redoing everything because that's. And I I did hear this from a different podcast, and they made a great point. So shout out to the Sneak This podcast, who I'm about to bite off of a little bit, but they made a good point. Jerry Lorenzo is not a recreator. He is a creator. He comes in, he creates the models. He creates his own clothing. He, he's the creator. He, he doesn't recreate something that already exists. He's just not taking a superstar, throwing colors on it and throwing out the door. He's not taking, you know what I mean, a, a Dame 7 that somebody else made, mm-hmm. throw some colors on it and throw it out the door. He's creating these everything he does. So right. he's, he needs to be creating a dope line going forward and if he's not creating it he needs to have the opinion to be able to tell people no that shit sucks go back to the drawing board All right so we should yeah, see maybe. more shoes that look nike-ish coming out of there which is simplifying all those extra panels and stuff that adidas likes to do on their basketball shoes it'd be they more simplified for the lifestyle aspect they definitely like to layer up their shoes bro they do Man. all types of Man. It looks like a damn uh, engine. Yeah, exactly. The basketball Definitely. shoes, not all the other shoes. The classics are fine. Right, but we're talking right, basketball, right. and and some a, a good amount of Adidas running aren't bad. But I'm talking basketball is their fault. That's their downfall. Except the Yeezys, <laughs> any of the Yeezy stuff that they're using. But Yeezys are not technically a basketball shoe. But now Yeezy has the you know the Quantums and stuff like yep. that. So he's trying to cross over into shoes that athletes and basketballs wear. But I see people wearing Yeezy 350s to play basketball in. So it's crazy. I see people playing basketball in them, which is absolutely insane. Them people better stop before they break their ankles or something. There's right. no support in any of those sneakers. None. Right. Even the sneakers that have support, they're they're not made. They better stop. <laughs> you guys remember the uh the, the Kobe Bryant uh Adidas the, the, the crazy eights looking? Oh, oh, not the crazy eights. I like the crazy eights. Oh, I know what you're talking the, about. The, the ones look like a mitten. They look like the, a big yeah, mitten. Oh the Porsche. my gosh, the Porsche bro. ones. The Porsche. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, the it Porsche. looked like a damn minivan on your foot, man. That, oh my gosh, they were like. <laughs> Absolutely were like the horrible, room. and they creased. They creased so ugly. Yeah. They look wrinkled. Yeah. They crease oh, so man. ugly. God, I that, that material it. I couldn't believe like... it did, did that. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe they done that. And, and, and there was actually people that liked them, though. I was just about to say, there people who <laughs> bought them, man. People bought that sneaker and wore it, and they bought the yellow one. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, and, and the wore it, yellow wore one. Proudly. Wore it proudly. With the jersey. Uh, one was okay. With the jersey, yes. With the jersey. <laughs> hey, no, the silver one was okay, but the other one's not. Wait, 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 wait. Let's hold on. Let's let's fix that statement. The silver one was not okay. The silver one was better than the yellow. Yeah, the silver one was tolerable. <laughs> yeah. The silver one was tolerable. Bro, right. that, that yellow one was horrid. Right. Oh, uh, I, now here, here, here and B more, we love the crazy eights, you know. No, crazy eights are dope. Sure. Crazy eights are dope. They're not they're, they're not as comfortable as I remember, um, right. but the, they're dope. The crazy eights uh, and then the um, top ten. Yep, those, those as well. Those are dope too. Oh man, the I forgot what they called. I actually don't even care. I don't want to remember the name. Yeah, yeah, me either. I, I tried. I sat here for a moment to try to remember. I said I know about describing though. They don't know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so the next topic, uh, since we're going to venture off of that a little bit, we're going to kind of stick in the Adidas realm, um, is Adidas is selling Reebok. And there's a couple of people that are interested in this deal. And it happens to be Master P, make him say, uh, na 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 na, and Baron Davis for $2.4 billion. Well, what do you think? What do you think would happen if they, if they take this over? Do they have that much okay. type of money? 
I know Master B has a lot of money and Barry Davis has money, but that's a bill, two point four billion. Well, I'm sure they don't have to walk in with the cashier's check and be like, all right, here's all your money. Right. I'm sure. I'm sure when they do a deal that big, right? They're gonna get that stuff. Um. Hmm. Yeah, they, they they definitely pay them on the back end. Um, That's hard. Me personally, me personally, Burn Davis. I think it's a little bit too late for him. Well, it's just on the really, business side. He, he, yeah, just, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, what, okay, what, else okay. does he, what else does he have going right now to bring their attention to it? Nothing. Now, yeah, exactly. Now, Master P, on the other hand, he has a few things going. He always has, you know, his hands and things under the radar. Right. Uh, he also tried to mimic quite a few uh, 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 designer sneakers out here right now yep. recently. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like the, the ball would drop better with Master P and he needs a break. He's been trying to make a sneaker for the longest. Maybe that'll give him the boost he needs to get the attention he won on the sneaker. Uh, yeah. I don't think That's he's necessarily on. trying to put out a new sneaker. What I think he is is just like I saw in the interviews about it, because I've looked into this, is mm-hmm. he just wants it to be owned by Black people to give more Black people a chance and more Black athletes, more Black business people, and not just Black business people, other people okay. of co- color who don't get opportunities in design of fashion and um, sports and, and stuff like that. So he's trying to open the door to be like, hey, and he made it, and I want to quote him, and he said, imagine if Michael Jordan owned Nike, how it would be. And and, and that's what he's, his premise is, is he wants to bring it to the people who make Reebok, Nike, and everything the most popular, which is hip hop, which is primarily Black people. Now, I'm not trying to say a racial statement as in Black people are the only ones who've made Nike popular or make Nike popular, but we have made a huge dent and its popularity spiking with Michael Jordan, with hip hop rappers and with hip hop entertainers doing the promotions right. of it. So I feel what I'm saying is cr- pretty fair on that sense of it. So that's yeah, 100%, what Master P's 100%. Trying, you know, Master P's trying to be like, let me step in and give it a better light to the people who already purchase it a lot, which are black people purchase a lot of the lifestyle shoes and the hip hop shoes and the basketball shoes, but to have someone that has their face behind it for a change, for a change, not like it's been going on for a while. So I think that he has the right purpose and he wants to to, to make it black owned, not to just be like, this is only for black people. He wants everyone to still buy it and wear it, but- he wants to give those people more of a vision, a chance, and a hope to one day make a move that big. It's a bigger statement than just buying a shoe company. It's making a move that shows that people who are minorities can own things that are mega powers in this world. He's making a bigger statement. So that's my, my, my take on that. Okay. I don't look as far as the owners or anything else. I look at the product and I look at what's in front of me, right? As, as a consumer. So, um, and granted, uh, it as a consumer, the only thing that I hope that comes from this deal is they they give more of what the people want. Mm-hmm. Reebok to me has so much untapped potential, so much with the questions. I mean, all they got to do is release more, release yeah. more, they get to make more money. Yeah, with the, with the sure. Eric Emanuel's, I mean, with the pink toe. Why not do more? Why not? Why not? Why did you release this a, such a small amount on the Reebok website? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, their uh, their training sneakers are dope. The nano, the mm-hmm. nano technology is pretty cool. I mean, it's it's soft, but it's not. So it's a great training sneaker. The Zig Kineticas, uh, you yep. put me on, Doctor B, is super crazy fire. comfortable. Super. It's super comfortable. It's a great sneaker at a great price. The right. questions, I mean, arguably one of the most iconic sneakers ever. Right. Um, then you have uh, some of the Iverson sneakers, uh, his earlier ones, obviously, uh, mm. on the answer line that that they drop silently, like nobody ever knows about those. Right. Do more collabs. I mean, there's there's so much untapped potential that they would have with these. Mm. Um, is he going to use this as a platform to get his own sneak out? I think he'd be dumb not to. Am I going to be interested in it? Eh, probably not. In his shoe, I mean. Um, I've seen his shoe. Not quite for me. It's more of, it has kind of like the designer uh, 
type of vibe to it, which isn't really me. I still have that, uh, the athletic look uh, going on in my life right now. Right. Um, but I mean, I think he'd be dumb not to try and push it. I mean, hell, I got Victoria Beckham's over here that, uh, that are unisex, but again, the material is amazing. They're comfortable. So, I mean, if, I don't know. I think it just gives him a great platform to be able to make these moves, to do things that he that he needs to do to make Reebok better. Mm. I just hope that he delivers on that. All right. So, again, it has so much untapped potential. So much untapped potential. They're not doing... Adidas ain't doing nothing with Reebok. Adidas is keeping Reebok on the back burner and saying, you know what? We got Yeezy. Mm. We just signed Jerry yep. Lorenzo. Mm. We got the Ultra Boost. Mm. We're putting out superstars every once in a while. Mm. We're doing collaborations with Disney, um, what Disney, The Mandalorian, Bape. Um, yeah, Bape a lot. Um, mm, we're good. Reebok is Reebok is there. Reebok's the redheaded stepchild when they shouldn't be. True. Right. And another another small tidbit I wanted to add in is that, you know, Master P is a New Orleans native, and you know, like we have the nine nine two, they have the Reebok. There, yep, you know? exactly. So. That's also another plus for him. Um, just hope he could get the ball rolling and get the right attention to it, you know. Mm -hmm. And as you said, B, you know, he's trying to open the gates, you know, so. Let's see no, what and, and that's right, too. I mean, I, I think it's a great thing. I, I think him buying it sends, one, sends a great message. Um, mm -hmm. But two, um, opens the door for a basically well opens the door for a major black owned business so that way people that he can start reaching out and start collaborating with to do more right and sure. that's what i'm hoping for because i love the collaborations i love you know the the consumer side of it the mm -hmm. the 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 back you know behind the scenes uh why like i don't really i don't really get into it too much i want to see what the product is but that's just me and what my interests are Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, but if we're talking about it, I'm I'm happy for this, especially for Master P. Master P, I mean, he's he's not broke, so he's he's a smart businessman. He knows what he's doing. So, and I would love to see him thrive, especially since for the longest time he was representing Oakland anyway. So let's go. Yeah, yeah sure. And he represents the West and the South, and yeah, yep. somebody who's multi coastal. So he's doing his thing. Mm hmm. So I'm I'm very curious and I'm I'm hoping because they have not they haven't signed the dotted line yet so it's not sold, but I'm hoping that they sell, and I'm hoping that uh, that they buy, and I'm just curious on where they go from here. It's gonna be interesting for sure. It is gonna be interesting. Hmm. You do a Master P question? I don't know, man. I'm kind of feeling that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. Yo, what they need to do is release some No Limit jerseys through Reebok. I'm ready, bruh. For sure. No, oh, lim yeah. no limit jersey with a tank on there, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He can All do day. it. Yeah, yes, he can. Okay, so now we're gonna venture off away from sneakers, and it's gonna be our our topic that we got. All right, gentlemen. So, Xbox versus PlayStation Five. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> Who who I'll wants take, to start? Who wants to start? I'll, I'll start it off. I'll start okay. it off. I don't I don't have as much knowledge as B does. So me neither. Uh oh, sorry about that. Um well I'll start this thing off in the bias fashion. PlayStation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um uh, I, I've always been a PlayStation fan. The last time I owned an Xbox was the very first one. Okay. Um, uh, I've heard so many bad stories, you know, about them blowing up or going up or, you know, so that kind of stared me away, though there are a few titles on Xbox that I'm huge fans of. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Killer Instinct being one of those, which is a fighting game. Um, classic. Upset they didn't you know, market it to Sony. Uh, but I'm going to say PlayStation 5, especially based on the features I've been hearing about, haven't heard many features about the new Xbox. Okay. So, yeah, okay. PS5. I'm biased. Sorry, man. I'm biased. No, I feel it. I feel it. 
All right. So again, Dr. B, you got all the knowledge on this topic. So I'm going to go first and then we'll go ahead and end it with you. And then we can jump in, uh, Cola. Uh, we can jump in uh, for things that Dr. B says, because you, I can see it. You see it in his eyes, Cola? He's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear it in his voice. Every, every, every day I hear it in his voice. I already know. All right. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say Xbox versus PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5, hands down. Okay, that's me. I have both of them. I have the S. I don't have the X. Uh, granted, okay. I know the X is better than the S as far as um, its output power and performance-wise. However, it can't be that different. So, but I can, or at least overall. Now, right. the Xbox, jumping from the Xbox One to the Xbox S was very minimal. The graphics are better, yes. The, uh, the, the user interface is the exact same. Setting it up is the exact same. It okay. honestly feels like nothing happened. Mm-hmm. It honestly feels like nothing happened. It honestly feels like I just spent $300 for basically nothing. Mm. Granted, I do get the next gen versions of all the all of the games that I have on there now, which are all the sports games that I have on Xbox and Cyberpunk. Well, no, Cyberpunk's not even next gen. Um, but so that is there is the difference there. So I do have the updated versions of it, uh, which those features are dope. So like NBA 2K, that's dope. Uh, NFL uh, 21, that's dope. So the next gen version. Excuse me. Now the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5, the user interface is different. Right. Uh, it does. It. I don't know why people were t- uh, were saying that the PlayStation 5 did not have the quick switch. It does. Um, but to me, the biggest, biggest selling point for the PlayStation 5 and sorry, Dr. B, I love you, fam. But to me, it doesn't really matter what else you got to say. But to me, the controller is the biggest, biggest, hands down yep. selling point for the PlayStation 5. All right, I was going to yeah. go, piggyback on that because it has a damn microphone in it. Yes. That's yes. the game changing thing. You don't have to buy a headset if you don't want one. Now, of course, they market headphones because they want to make more money and they market the the new PS5 version one and stuff like that, but you don't even need one. The microphone, I play with Cola every day. We're hardcore gamers. I sit here, I don't have a mic plug-in. I talk with Cola free right here on the PS5 remote. It's yes. right here, it's built in. So I don't need to, I'm just sitting here just like, yeah, man, da 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 and just playing. There's, there's, it's seamless, so you can't beat that. That, that right there is a super selling point um yep not that uh interrupt you i love the the uh the adaptive um the adaptive triggers the resistance oh yeah but that's crazy so i play call of duty a lot and right. especially lately and i i be getting mad because i forget that the triggers are adaptive so when i go to switch from my pistol to my assault rifle they don't shoot the same mm. so it, it, you have to press so- harder you have to press harder for the assault rifle, but the, uh, wow. the pistol is, is a lot lighter. It's happy. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's right. So it's, it's crazy. So it's like, you have to keep that in mind when you're playing. So you're using more brain power. Just it's, it's so crazy. It, it I think it's, they killed it, killed it with the, uh, with the controller. Yeah. And, and, and the segue in, I would have to say that both systems are powerful. Both systems are dope, but I'm a PS fiber. And it's not even on the bias of that I've worked for PlayStation before and all those type of things because I have been a, a game tester and product analyst and things of that nature. So I know PlayStation's components in and out. Um, but I think it's the performance and the community. You have more solid community on PS5. The, P, the gaming community is a little bit more solid on the PlayStation network. You get more interactive ability with PlayStation. All the top world fighting game championships are played on playstation do we get a okay. do we get a little theme here going it's always been about playstation like right. playstation the dominant force and it just has been um you know back when xbox 360 came out that was a great rival to playstation system at the time but after that it was always a race that was running behind playstation 
I think that that was their strongest system in a long time was the um, Xbox 360 after that, because that was revolutionary. The graphics right. were smooth. They had all these great games. You can hack it. You can use it for this web browser. You had this, you had that, you had this and that. You kind of lose that as you get into more of the later gen systems with Xbox, but PS always gives you that. And, and like, and that's the thing about it. It just seems like it's a more functional community based right. system. And I would have to run with PlayStation 5 will win this battle and is winning this battle. Yes, it definitely is winning this battle. I can't tell you how many things I've already read talking about how Xbox can't figure out why they're getting outperformed and, you know, so on and so forth. Right. Um, so, but, uh, so I, and I don't have a biased opinion. My, my opinion is solely based on playing both, both systems for the past three or four systems. Right. So I've had both every time right. they've come out. Mm-hmm. So, uh, because I play all of my sports on the Xbox and I play all of the story games uh, and all my RPGs on um, PlayStation. PlayStation, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. So uh, I love the offset, um, the analog sticks. I love I love how it's offset on the Xbox. Right, right. It's I'm not even now. I'm still not a huge fan how the PlayStation controller has them both level. I love mm-hmm. the offset. To me, it just it feels more comfortable. Um, however, the games that, especially for like the past three systems, starting with Uncharted for PlayStation 5, have been, Uncharted is my number one overall ever favorite, uh, st- franchise, game franchise. Mm-hmm. The Uncharted definitely series. Wanted, definitely one of the dopest series. Yeah, Hands so down. it's by far my most favorite. Um... Then you have Assassin's Creed and, um, oh man, God of War, mm-hmm. as far as RPGs go. Mm-hmm. So those ones are those ones are my favorite. Now, if you notice the theme there, two of those are PlayStation exclusives. So I I've been having to buy the PlayStation. So right. I would buy the Xbox for all my sports, and I'd buy the PlayStation for all the RPGs. Well, last uh, the PS4 and the PS5 they had Spider Man exclusive. Spider Man's a dope game. Mm-hmm. I haven't got to get my hands on it yet, but I, I'm lying. I, I no, I didn't play it, but I watched someone share play it, and and I was amazed just from the share play. I'm Damn, definitely gonna get into that. Dope. It is dope. All right. Get your hands on it. Play it. I've already beat it and got a hundred percent. I've never got a hundred percent on a game before. Wow, that's a good job. Yeah, me, I didn't me see, either. Me either. I, I, I think warmed one it game. up, but I haven't played it a lot. I have warmed it up. I have it, but I haven't played it a lot. So I need to play it a little more. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'm a fan. I, I had ple- I've had previous titles, uh, just not this one. So I'm definitely gonna get around to it. It's not gonna pass me. That's for sure. Yeah. So I, I've never did 100 percent before. I haven't did 100 percent on the first Spider-Man game. I'm even doing the new game plus. Like when you do the uh, after you get it 100 percent, you can start it again. Because when you start it new, you still level up. Because you you uh, on the very first time you played, you can only level up to like level twenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then if you do a new game plus, then you can start going to like 22, 23, 24. You can go higher, and you unlock new suits that you can only get from uh, from doing the new game plus. That's okay. it. Yeah, like it's dope. So it's uh, but um, so Spider Man, the Uncharted series, which I have on disc, so I had to buy the disc version. Um, there's just it, PlayStation to me is completely leading the way. The only mm-hmm. game that comes to mind, mm-hmm. where uh, or the only franchise that is Xbox exclusive that comes to mind is Halo. Yep. And to me, Halo wasn't that great. It crashed. It wasn't that great to me. To that, that's a topic that took hours, but. Halo crashed and it had its peak when Halo one through three or one, yeah, one, two, and three. And after that, nah. Those are the only ones I remember playing. And right. I only play those because I had an Xbox and I was just playing it to see what all the buzz was. I wasn't a fan. I mean it was cool. Yeah, and I, I, I was I was never a Halo fan myself. Yeah, and I, I I can imagine people, you know, if anyone's listening, I can imagine that you know, if the Xbox lovers they get, probably getting mad at me right now, but I, I've never been a Halo fan. I didn't care for it. I, you know, they had the what the the Warthog or whatever that the the Jeep is, and mm-hmm. I really didn't like the alien guns, like those laser. The I Needler. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. I, I think that's what it is with me as well. Um, 
I don't know. I'm, I've just never really been into the sci-fi gaming much. Mm, okay. Uh, I like um, what was the main title for Xbox? Uh, uh, Halo is the only one that comes to mind. You got a different one? I can't think of another. Gears one. of War. Um, yeah, Gears of War. Oh, um, I like Gears of War. Mm-hmm. I like Gears of War, but Halo definitely didn't get it for me. Gears of War was pretty cool. Gears of War, the chainsaw uh, and all that. You know, I thought that was dope. Gears of War was too messy for me to, to keep playing. It was way too loud visually. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was it just there was too much. Now, I loved what they did, and again with the with the Xbox, I thought it was revolutionary how you have the chainsaw, but then they had like the little cutscene, the animated cutscene where you can go in and and it just you press the button and it like it shows the guy like cutting them and like you don't do anything, you get to watch him do it like a finish like a finished move. Cinematic, yeah, yeah. So I thought that was crazy when it first came out, just like everybody right. else did. But then so, you get sick of it, <laughs> yeah. Because at that point, you're just like, look, just kill the fucking guy and move on. Right, exactly. So I keep uh, watching the cinematic every time. It's like, man, I right. saw it already. <laughs> so and I did play. Uh, I did play Gears of War Five, the, mm-hmm. the 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 major one. I think it was like the game of the year or the whatever it was, Rampage. I don't know something. Mm-hmm. Um, but right. I did play that one too. Uh, mm, it was all right. Oh, and then again with PlayStation, The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. That one's also dope. I got that from my kid. Uh, she 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 didn't play it yet. Um, How old is your kid? I'm Twelve. Is it I too was much? scared. Um, she's not a gamer at all, though. She kind of plays Fortnite and stuff like that. I just it came with the system, so that's oh, okay. kind of why I got it. You know. No, man, there were there were parts in that movie that scared me because uh, because you know how it's it's like you're the last you know basically last people like living on Earth, mm-hmm. and so you have to venture through all like these zombies and stuff. Yo, like my, I had anxiety on a couple of scenes and a couple uh, a couple levels, and I'm getting through it. I mean, I, it also doesn't help that I'm playing it in the dark. <laughs> yeah, I, I might, I, try, I might take a crack you. at it. I might take right? a crack at it myself. I might, yeah, might try the, it out myself. I've been hearing dope. a lot about it. The last of it, the first one was dope. The second one, I thought, I thought was super dope. So yeah, that's another that. PlayStation yeah. exclusive, mm-hmm. right? Again, I mean, without being biased, just looking at the whole thing, I, I even talked to my next door neighbor who was Xbox one hundred percent. Excuse me, brought him over because I got both. And he doesn't have either one of the new ones, so he tried them both out. And mm-hmm. then I showed him the controller for the PlayStation 5. Now he's trying to buy a PlayStation 5 instead of an Xbox. Oh, that's wild. It just, mm. I mean, you, you, he got to test them both, and he was like, well, you know, I know how to play an Xbox, so he was comfortable with it. But the PlayStation, mm-hmm. he was like, yo, this is kind of crazy. It's and the, wild, the, the only game that I put on for him to play was Call of Duty. I was like, here, try Call of Duty real quick. And he put it on and he started and he felt the triggers and he was like, yo, this is nuts. Absolutely nuts. I, I, I plan on grabbing mine really soon, bro. Uh, you know, I usually try to wait till they release a few more titles right. on the system, you know, and mm. that that way I could I won't feel like you feeling now, like you spent 300 for nothing. Right. Type of thing. You know, I I, I hate to have that feeling. You know, I want to get it and be, you know extremely excited when i get it you know right no i um, feel it well as someone who bought because uh, i bought my my first well out yeah my first one i bought um on the first pre-order that uh that they did so i got it for retail right. then i bought a second one for resale purposes to help pay for this one um but i'll tell you if you if you've already waited this long wait a little bit longer there's i mean obviously oh, no, no, they're not no, going anywhere Right. I don't have no issue with waiting at all. I, I, I'm never. I got so many titles on my PS4 still that I could work my way through until you know it gets a little more uh, exclusive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. There's. I mean, pay retail. Yeah. Pay retail. Don't pay resale for it. Resale is uh, resale is crazy. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, I got. I, I, I've people. seen some. I've seen some eight hundreds and nine hundreds and thousands, seven hundreds. I've seen some. Yeah, I've seen some prices out it. I'll tell you what, though, man. I wish I would have got my second one when they were going for like a thousand dollars. I would have sold mine in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, hi. <laughs> if people want to pay that price, I'll happily sell it. Right. I right. wouldn't pay that price. I'm just saying. If you would, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, if they willing to? Why not? Hey, so all you okay, do so is fall, fall into the right market, man, and somebody will buy. 
Exactly. All right. So it sounds like all of us are, are going toward PlayStation Five then. Definitely. All right. Well, that that sounds good to me, man. Sounds like uh, sounds like PlayStation Five took that one, but I don't think they needed us to stay that because uh, just from reading all the reviews and stuff, it sounds like PlayStation Five is doing just fine by itself. Definitely. For sure. For sure. All right. So since this is the New Year's episode, we're gonna end it off with: Do any of you guys have a New Year's resolution? Ah. Uh. Go ahead, Cole. Well, not that I've been thinking of, but I'm, I'm a good off the top guy. Let's see, off the top, what you got? What you got, Cole? <clears throat> well, I want to spend more time with my family, which I have been doing, you know, right. and, and enjoying, you know, and I've been enjoying it. You know, been getting closer with my kids, been learning more about my kids. Uh, That's the important that, part. Yeah, good and bad. Uh, so, <laughs> right. So yeah, that's that's pretty much my resolution. You know, to be even more with family man than I already was. Bro. I want to highlight part of that though. I want to highlight the getting to know your kids. It's because right. uh, you know everyone says they want to spend more time with family and stuff like that. But just because you're spending time with somebody, don't mean you get to know them. Mm. No, not at all. So not especially, all. especially because I mean I have a son as well. I mean he's he's on the youngest side now. But right. I can just imagine here, you know, in the next com- coming years, you know, kids, they only give you what's not going to get them in trouble. Mm. Of course. You know what of I mean? Course. So because I just think about how much of uh, how much of a kid I was and me being still super young at heart, much like both of you gentlemen, um, it kind of ke- keeps things in the back of my head. It's like, OK, is this really how he acts or, is, you know? Because I remember I was at home and I was well behaved for the most part, you know, when I wasn't punching holes in the wall. But mm-hmm. when I got to school, I was cursing. You know, I mean, I was fighting when the teachers weren't looking. So it's like, OK, you know, what's my son really doing? You know what I mean? Yep. So so get to know your kids. If if that's the type of personality they are, then learn, learn that that's yep. who they are. And then that's when you can make those correct steps. But, you know, yep. like you said, I, I, I want to. I want to really highlight that part, what you said. And I couldn't be more happy to hear someone say that, that you want to get to know your kids. That's right. awesome. I, I, That's I, great I want to add one, add one last thing to that. Uh, uh, I've learned to, you know, kind of set them up, you know. Right. To, to get the things that I feel like I need to know. You know what I'm saying? I will put them in a position where they have no choice but to show their true colors in the situation. Uh, you know, so. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's how I get that, uh, that other right. side, you know, and really get to know them and really know, you know, you know, how to teach them based off that, you know. Right. So it, it, it's fun. It's fun. It's got to get a little creative, but yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Okay. All right, Dr. B, man, hey, what about you? You got any New Year's resolutions? Man, man, stay fly, stay high, stay dry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and, and that means so many different things. It's not just- Hey, man, thing. you got to put that on a shirt, bro. You did. <laughs> stay fly, stay high, stay dry. But, you know, the stay flies, you know what I mean? Staying in the latest drip and everything to stay high, stay high with the paper, you know what I'm saying? And stay high in the charts. And things of that nature and stay high in the mind, you know, and, uh, you know, what I'm saying and stay dry because I ain't trying to get wet. I ain't trying to be cold out here in these streets or nothing like that. I'm trying to stay dry. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay warm. OK, you know? I'm just trying to like do better and help out, you know, on a real serious note outside the uh, the funny anecdotes. Um, I would say that it it's about, you know, connecting with my friends and family a lot more, which I've been doing. Um, to work on my new album mixtape that I have dropping. I got a new video. It's called Just Lose It. It's coming to hey. you soon. Check that okay. out. It's filmed in Tokyo, Japan and Fukuoka, Japan. So um, we got that coming. Shout out to Strike First Gaming, Rich Kid Academy. And um, I'm just going to be trying to do better to my girlfriend and my love of my life. And you know what there I'm you saying? Go. 
help uh, more of my young OGs and my young Gs, you know, see the way. And, you know, this my year God. I'm turning, you know what I'm saying, the big 40. So, you oh, know, I'm, I'm just trying to make it look good and make it look hood, you feel me? Hey, hey, okay. I wouldn't know it. I wouldn't know it, bro. I wouldn't know it if I walked past you, bro. <laughs> And that's um that's my goal. You know, I've had this life goal between me and y'all is to look like I'm in my 20s when I turn 40. I've been hanging on to this long. <laughs> I've, been, <laughs> I've been trying because I didn't want somebody to be like, oh, you look like you're 25, you're 26, you're 26. I just want to hear that word. Like, okay. Yeah, hey, huh. man, hey, Mama, I made it, bro. it. I made it. I made it. I've been trying to hang on this long. I was like, I had a life goal when I was 20 something. That I was telling myself, man, when I'm 40, I'm still going to look like this, man. My boy's like, no, you're not. You're going to be looking all bad and different and all this stuff. I was like, no, I'm not. I was like, I'm going to stay tough. Seeing one of them cats the other day, man, B, you still look the same. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, that's, so a, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a good goal. It, and um, and and to just you know continue to push you know my business partners and associates like sneakers and up and all the people that I'm working with, um, I'm blessed to be a part of de- uh, so, uh, so many different businesses and companies that I do things with. So I just want to keep that train going and within it give other people opportunity. Like I want to help Cola find his way to pro gaming as well, and other my friends who have talents and abilities. I want to put them in front of other people. And, uh, you know, even things like this, you never know who could be watching. They could see Colin. I mean, I like this guy. Let's give this guy a shot. And that's how things work. Sure. Right. That's that's right. my goal, man, sure. to keep being a conduit of uh, good energy and uh, and uh, connecting people. That's OK. Yeah. OK. Um, I got a, a couple of resolutions that I want. First off, my personal one is to uh, continue losing the weight. OK. OK. Continue okay. losing sure. the weight. I've already dropped the 30. I want to drop I want to drop 40 more. You can do it. I just, I just picked up twenty, bro. I need to hang with you, man. Yeah, hey, it's, <laughs> a, it's hang a, out with it, you, bro. It's hard, man. So I dropped to thirty. I want to drop forty more. I want to get to, uh, to about two ten, as mm-hmm. far as the number goes. Uh, once right. I hit that number goal, then I'm gonna start lifting. Then I really don't care where I'm at as far as weight, as far as the number. Then I'm gonna go about feel. Okay. How, how okay. good I feel. So, but I want to get to that number first because that just means that I'm losing the fat and I'm losing, you know, the weight overall. And, you know, people tell me all the time, he said, well, muscle weighs weighs more than fat. I understand that, but I'm still taking up space. Like I want to take up less space. (laughs) So I want to, I want to weigh less. So if you weigh less, you take up less space. So that's my goal. Right. That's Um, all day, bro. Right. So so the, the other one is, is uh is sneakers and up i want to i want to get better at the video editing i want to get better at kind of really putting it out there um so the sneakers and up just in general I'm, i'll just keep it at that i want to learn how to be able to uh to get it just a little bit more popular mm-hmm. oh you know yeah i mean just just so that way i can make it better just to have a kind of a bigger audience and you will we're gonna keep pushing like oh, Captain yeah. planet we're gonna join forces oh yeah oh yeah of keep on pushing Yes, um, but then my last one and the most important is uh, is spend more time with my extended family as far. And now I, when I say extended, it's actually my immediate family, but they're not they're not relatively available as far as uh, distance. So they're like in, they're in the Bay Area, which is like an hour and a half, two hours away. Mm-hmm. So I want to spend more time with them um and also spend more time chit-chatting talking to my son uh really starting to see him because he's across the country uh from me mm-hmm. uh so i get to go out there at least twice a year um but family really just kind of spend more time with them with my nieces uh my nephews that kind of stuff that's lit. Oh, yeah definitely that's definitely yeah. lit yeah so spend spend more time with them because we have a great time whenever i come down but whenever i do it's you know it's here or there or whenever it is, but I want to get down there more often. That's tight. Right, right. Yeah. Except for the summertime. I'm not going down there in the summertime because the Bay Area has <laughs> been getting hot. Most places don't have air conditioning. Right. Facts. <laughs> so summertime, sorry. Sorry, mama, but I'm staying home. Yeah, these 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 last few summers have been oddly hot, bro. <sighs> I can I can say that. It's well, we can get global warming. I was just about to say we can get into the global warming discussion, but we'll save that for another time. For sure, for sure. Hey, I'm, I'm knowledgeable. I'm also bring, knowledgeable. You'll bring Cola be back. You'll be oh, back. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. So, but uh, I don't have anything else. Gentlemen, you guys got anything you want to add before we before we end it? Uh, 
Thanks for having me. Of course. Can't wait. Can't wait to be back. Sneakers and up all day, bro. You already know. Boston. Yeah, man. Enjoyed having you on. And definitely enjoyed having you on. Dr. Cool. B, man, you got anything? Any, man, any? shout out to the BBC Boys, Bait Boys group, man. Big shout out to Ice Cream Troop, Arctic Freeze, Kazi, John Lyon. You know what I'm saying? Tiger Joe. You know what I'm saying? G Ice. You know what I'm saying? Blitzta. Everybody from the BBC Ice Cream Boys group. You know what I'm saying? Julio Sunshine, I see you. You know, we just, we running crazy. Santana Chapo, 89 Jedi. Man, it goes on, man. We Those are all prominent superstar figures right there, man. You know, Mac right. Dub, my little brother, you know what I mean? Time Lord 503, you know what I mean? E-Mittens. And big shout out to an RIP to, you already know who I'm about to say, MF Doom, man. You know, we just yes. lost. So big shout out, RIP to MF Doom and also to Shaba Do, you know what I'm saying? AKA Ozone from the Breaking movies. Yep. Breaking 1 and Breaking yep. 2, one the, the forefathers of the pop and lock and also of uh, b-boying breaking and popping he just passed away recently uh, 80s icon so i had yep. to give him a shout out because i grew up watching breaking one and two and that's how i learned how to break dance and beat street and stuff and then i learned from all the homies in high school and i'm still big a shout out ever you know what i'm saying i can always bust out some moves so big shout out to those pioneers that we lost you know what i'm saying Facts, man. Facts. So that yeah, one, that one facts. threw me off. But yo, you know, MF Doom. You know, he uh, he actually passed away a couple months ago. Right. They just like yeah, finally October, getting this yeah. Game. Bro, yeah. that was. I mean, I I loved that they did that. Mm -hmm. That he kept it silent. That they that the family was able to mourn, and I mean, he was a public figure, but he was able to mourn and and everything in peace. Right. That's the family. Was, I thought that was amazing. Me too. Definitely different. Definitely a different. You know angle on things uh i'm sure a lot of the celebrities probably you know would like to do things that way but they're too big know, it, they're too big yeah that's another thing they're too big the publicity finds its way out there man well i think the mask helped the ma <laughs> because the i mean gone. <laughs> yeah well i mean the uh the mask the, uh, well the reason why i say it is because point. Good because point. if people didn't know what he looked like without the mask. So, like, when he went yeah. to the hospital and, and lived his normal life, nobody knew what he looked like. Yeah. Genius. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. So, I mean, he went to the hospital. He didn't check in as MF Doom. He right. checked in under his, his government name. Right. So, I mean, he passed away and nobody knew. So, but like I said, I thought that was dope. I thought I, I, I'm very happy for his family. They, they got to have that time. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, you know, it's sad that he left, but he could be just like any other public figure. I mean, look at uh, Vanessa Bryant, for example. Right. I mean, she, she lost Kobe, Kobe and Gigi, and it was everywhere. And they could have no time to mourn because they was at her gates and blowing her up and knocking her door down and calling. Mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean? So there was no time to mourn. Exactly. Oh, and, and then you start getting exact. Yes. R.I.P. RIP Kobe last year, man. So, yeah, that's a whole different topic. But, yeah, man, you know, us losing MF Doom, losing Shabadu, you losing all the people we lost in 2000, man, that was rough. That was a hard I'm, year. We lost a lot of people. I'm going to post the – Debo, uh, man, Debo. I'm going to post – yes. RIP Debo. Straight I'm up. Gonna, I'm going to post the video after uh, after this episode. Uh, it's going to go into – uh into our outro here um but basically it was uh it was 2020 highlight to 2020 mm -hmm. and people said that uh and i i agree with it it said it looked like a scary movie mm -hmm. for sure all day long man a scary movie man the year of the year of death literally <sighs> bro man. you know you, there was so much stuff to happen in 2020 you know what i actually forgot about and i i actually started to tear up a little bit i got emotional watching it was the uh, Australia fires? I forgot oh, about this, the Australia that, that, fires. That happened last year. Yes, I thought that was twenty nineteen, bro. No, that's what I'm saying. You right. real, you I, realize I, I, our twenty, our twenty twenty started. Um, you know, we had an all star game in February, right? <laughs> you mm -hmm. remember we had, had an all star? I forgot we had one. I forgot we had an all star game because it was in February, and then after that was when all the COVID stuff started happening. Yeah. Crazy. But yeah, but the part that I'm talking about was when uh when the koalas were in 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 the fire in the forest, and they didn't know what I to do, and they were just they were just burning alive. 
That's terrible. Yeah, man. man it I, was... I never really saw any scenes from the, I, I don't uh, want to see that. That that breaks me either, me either, not necessarily want, want to, you know, but you know how the uh, internet is, bro. Right. You can't all you can't unsee everything, you know. Right, right. <laughs> you right. ain't ever lied. Man. You scroll down and it's right in your face. There it is. Well, Gotta yeah. watch it now. Crawls on fire, like damn. Yeah, it was it was crazy. It, it like I said, man. It was uh, it kind of got emotional during that part because that's that's their home, that's their habitat, and you know what I mean. So, but it's, it's, we can we can get into a big discussion about you know people being for sure for sure because my mind is uh, right, I, and that's I know, exactly I know where I'm at. Things up. Yeah. We're gonna bring that back. We're bringing that back. The unenvironmental discussions, <laughs> man. Right for real. Right. I, um. So, but that's all I got, gentlemen. If we ain't got nothing else, then we gonna call it a night. We're going to say peace. Everyone, please have a, a, a very prosperous and happy 2021. Today is 1-1-21. So let's make sure that we keep it peaceful. Um, that is a big wish, but we can try. So say peace out, please. And thank you for coming on, Cola and Dr. Sure. B. How anytime, is, man? anytime, anytime. And I'm the co-host, Dante, and we are out, man. Peace. Peace.